Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Welcome to Tuesday. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my god. We have got five you, games. You almost couldn't even put them all on the opening <laughs> yes, screen. It was very, just squished very big. Right I in try there. and limit yep. it to five if possible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some aren't even games, but they're uh, big enough to show off that I uh, that I wanted to include them, mm -hmm. including uh, a game engine, mm -hmm. start of a game engine from Marco Johannes, mm -hmm. uh, Marco J. Uh, we have the exclusive premiere of that game engine. It is pretty impressive, and that's why I wanted to include it. Cool. It's incredible. Okay, cool. Um, 7800 game called Iron Grip, Destroyer of Worlds. I have no idea what the title has to do with the game. Okay. The backstory has not been posted <laughs> uh, by yeah. Steve Fulton. Uh, nice. Animal Dentist from 2018, which we briefly looked at the other day. Yes. By Christoph Klukzeg. Which Arena Foot yes. mentioned on the show, and then you yes. showed a clip. So it's, yeah, Arena it Foot passed that over. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a look at Life in Space. Base by Andrew Davey. Nice. Uh, we've got an exclusive update on that. And we're going to be playing the retail version of Venture Reloaded by Omega Matrix. And nice. you played this a little bit and you liked it a lot. So yeah. I, I've been looking forward to playing that as well. Yeah. The updated version of that. Yeah, very cool. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Alan the Forearms, Gar Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D Catalogs, Charles Whelan, Coconut81, DNOI, Dan FEC, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC1, Urado, Just Zanny, Carl G, Malchitos, Mark Spacing, Matthew Lazarus, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nintendo, Cade, Packrat, Cohog, uh, Packrat VG, Cohog, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Snicklin, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The Welshman 89, Tiki, Dan, K. And they don't all fit on my screen, so I have to scroll. <laughs> They're all there, too, if you missed any. Uh, you can get your name on there for free as well and support us if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And make sure you follow and like us on all the social media stuff mm -hmm. for announcements and things like that. We've got a package to open up. Yeah, hey, hey. I know what it is just by touching it, touching it, <laughs> and knowing what I already shaking too. it a bit, you know, smacking it on the ground. Yeah, you don't want to do that with <laughs> no. stuff I order. <laughs> no. Um, so this is kind of a weird purchase. Um, but it'll all make sense in a second. Ugh, ugh, what? Is it taped inside? I think it probably got stuck. Oh, it is taped. Oh, oh it's... The tape oh, stuck it's got to a plastic. terrible electrical tape over it. Oh, no. This stuff gets sticky and gross very fast. Yes, it This is. has got to go immediately. Careful. Ugh. Don't cut the... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, don't cut the, uh, the, the very cord. special cable. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this, um, people can recognize that. Oh, somebody crossbow guessed, <laughs> guessed it immediately. Um, knows. It is a Jaguar SCART cable. Nice. Um, SCART is a video connector in Europe. Mm. Um, and we didn't get it in North America. We got Component. Component, is pretty okay. much the equivalent level of quality um so this is for rgb systems okay scart cables um i don't have a jaguar no <laughs> <laughs> um but after showing those jaguar games on atari age day yeah i was convinced to buy one i don't have one yet but i'm going to buy one and jaguar has rgb output built into it okay so you don't need to mod a jaguar oh that's nice it's just ready to have awesome output right that's away really good a terrible look at that what is that ripped sticker on here anyway i hope it works looks like a tiny 1970s hair dryer <laughs> yes think about all the amazon prime members that don't know about twitch all those free subs are out yet unused yeah yes. somehow i could just reach them yes just, yeah <laughs> that's right all that wasted money um but yes i'm looking forward to getting a jaguar there's lots of great homebrews the ones we showed on atari age day mm -hmm. looks like so much fun mm -hmm. so yeah so i got this in anticipation jaguars are about 300 canadian i think okay yeah but hopefully when we go to a retro gaming expo i can find can one for keep, a little cheaper keep your eye out for it and yeah yeah because i want two controllers for sure yeah and the system and i, I don't really 
I'll take a look at some of the games that came with it, but I'll, I'll look for like top 10 Jaguar games and yeah. see if any older games are worth buying. Yeah. A lot of them are like 3D and first gen 3D. I know are, you, are, do you have a my, hatred for that? I just yeah. don't like first gen yeah. 3D. It's usually really bad. Yeah. chunky. The controls are awkward. The <sighs> they camera's They make you feel bad. a little dizzy when you play them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, good for you, James. I'm all out of jar Jaguar <laughs> SCART cables. Okay. Oh, Wolf 3D. Uh, there's better platforms, I think, for Wolf 3D. Tempest 2K. Yes. yes. That is definitely one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. Uh, first person shooters. They're not no, your thing. First gen first person shooters. Yeah. 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 Some of them are okay. Like mm. I don't. I don't mind Doom. I or Wolfenstein 3D. Wolfenstein. Yeah. Wolfenstein. Stein. Um. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, no, Wolf 3 on the Jag is excellent, but the levels are shorter than the PC. Mm. Oh, okay. Maybe it's something to get then. Yeah, I, d I did enjoy Wolfenstein 3D yeah. um, when it came out, and I played it on PC. I oh. played it on PC, and it was like a free version in the first level or whatever. Yeah, so that's, that's what I got That's all I ever to. played. I never played any, any further than that, those, but those first I did levels enjoy it. Got a lot of playtime. I was right around... No, nobody up there. You, you <laughs> Cat's yeah, looking up no there. Yeah, no kidding. University time. Raymond? So oh, okay. Whatever was free, I was I was down with. Yes. <laughs> shareware. It's all shareware. Um, <laughs> VHZC released an update to his helicopter game, Peril. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. hours before the show started. Oh, really? Oh. Otherwise, I would have included Another it. show, then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll have to be after the break. Um, mm -hmm. It's released Candidate 1. It has 45 levels total. Cool. Um, it's wow. a really fun game. 45. So wow. it's not a platformer. It's a... Yes. Flying in space has no gravity. Yes. So your helicopter navigating through yep. typical VHZC um, obstacles. Mm. You know, the lightning bolts, the things moving around, mm. things coming after you, and you get bullets, you can shoot them. Nice. So that's very exciting. Yeah. And he said, and it's release candidate one, so he said all the content and mechanics are added. Are so done. everything's there. Nice. The whole game is there. So cool. Download it after the show and give it a try. I was playing it before the show, yeah. just briefly, because I was like, oh, I love Peril. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for him to update Peril. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. Lots of new updates. Oh, good, it good, good. It does a beautiful screen clearing mechanism. Yeah. Looks awesome. And speaking of VHZC, we both bought a t-shirt. Off his, yeah. Off his store. Yes. And you'll have to wait to see which ones they are. Yes. When we get them. Yeah. Because that's, that's the fun of it. T public, uh, T public, T public. Yes. Yeah. Just go to T public. Search for VH. That's he's got like he's, thirty a lot or of, forty. A lot of his his sort of um, graphical art and stuff in yeah. there too, as well as his game. Yeah. So if you like his like style that, so. of art, which yeah. is great. Yeah. Really nice. There's yeah. Tons of like classic games that he's stylized to his type of yeah. drawing. Yeah. And a number of his games as well. He has t-shirts for. Yes. Yes. Um. Yep. And uh, yeah, we have yeah. A, a couple of his t-shirts now. We've got uh, the yeah. Bosconian one. Uh, we have another one as well, don't we? You might. I, I don't remember. know. I, I know we have the Bosconian one. Yeah, so we'll have a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, right. So We're video interference. Yeah. I know I've been I've been ha I've, yes. I've solved it for now, but it's still a tiny bit, but it's tolerable mm. on these twenty six hundred and seventy eight hundreds from the camera. Um, so right now the camera is plugged into. Another room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, Another two plug. rooms away. Yeah, yeah. So that it doesn't interfere. And, yeah. it's, and it's tolerable right now. But I yeah. bought a power conditioner for the streaming setup. I actually bought oh. two of them. Just so... Oh. One, Is that I, what the expensive thing off Amazon was? Was that the uh, power that, conditioner? No, no, is that on eBay? I oh, think. okay. It's on eBay, yeah. There I saw something in the Amazon cart that looked like a... Oh, it might have been in the cart, yeah. Yeah, in the cart. But it was cheaper on eBay. So you bought it off eBay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so it's pretty inexpensive one because they can get up to in the hundreds of dollars mm, i can see that yeah so i bought an inexpensive one because i just some of them have like ups is built in yes and yes lots of add-ons i don't need don't that, need that i just need the video clear out the video interference mm. yeah um so it'll be arriving in a few, couple weeks and i'll keep everybody updated because i post about so helps, yeah. my setup in the zero page homebrew club Oh, okay. So people want to keep track of updates to yeah. set up. It's <laughs> I there. think people are always interested, like yeah. uh, if especially if they if they do any streaming themselves. It's nice yes. to know how other people are doing that's, it. And... That's kind of why I'm posting it there. So yeah. if people want to set up their own streaming, I mean, this is fairly extreme setup for streaming. Yeah. 
Um, but it it's wow. there for people to learn from. Yeah. Learn from my mistakes and my fixes. <laughs> um, also getting an upgrade to our internet soon. Mm -hmm. uh, the new modem has been shipped. Mm -hmm. It's on its way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be going from uh, 300 megabits down and 15 megabits up yeah. to 1,000 down and 100 up. Which that is sounds substantial. Three times the download speed, but more importantly, about eight times the, the upload, upload speed. It's yeah. already very fast, but this is going to be like blazing fast. Well, let's hope, yeah, let's hope it uh, works properly too. Let's hope, but I'll be yeah. installing it during the break, so I won't be interfering with any of this yeah. stuff. So and hopefully beautiful streams when we get back. It won't affect the streams at all. Well, well <laughs> some, sometimes people complain Maybe. of things being weird or off or maybe stuttery so we'll see yeah we'll see. it'll uh at best you guys will notice it youtube uploads will be faster but yeah maybe. you have to wait a day anyway so yeah mostly for me <laughs> uh best i can get in my cable provider is uh 350 down and 30 up yeah, yeah. so that's kind of almost what we have that's a little mm. bit better than what we have mm. um yeah they just like their advertising worked we saw an, i saw an ad they called they're we were watching YouTube. Hard. We were yeah. watching YouTube, and then one of those annoying in the middle of the video ads come up, and it was for it was for our Faster provider. Speed. And it's actually cheaper than what we're paying for now. So it's like, just slightly because it's a special two year deal because they always and then it's pull just that. slightly Ad more. Blocker, yeah, slightly more after the two years, so it's like yeah. oh, it evens out. Yeah, uh, I'd have to put the ad blocker uh, in line in the router um, to do that. Yeah, and I don't know what it would do. It would just blank it out. Like we use the ad blockers on like laptops, but yeah. when you're doing Chromecast, it's a little different. Yeah, it's through Chromecast. You'd yeah. have to use like something like Pi Hole or something. Yeah. Where it acts like an in between. Yeah. Between your router and your modem. Anyway, it actually provided something useful. <laughs> yeah, it did. Because <laughs> James was like, "Wait, what? What? What can we get for that price?" More, more bit rate. I yeah. think people would complain if I crank it beyond three megabits. <laughs> I think I have it right now three or six i think I it's three you have yeah because sometimes it forces you guys to like most of the time it forces you guys to watch it mm. three and some people it they just can't watch it any higher mm. so i don't know if i'd want to uh app installed in chrome well it's chromecast mm. like it's a box that's part of our that TV, plugs into yeah. the tv so you would have to put something in line i'm in sure the there's a way to do it it's just we haven't really Maybe figure that out so so a reminder once again that the big reveal of champ games new game is this friday in mm. four days if you guys want to make any guesses put them in that thread mm. there on the um any new good ones uh there's a couple new ones that somebody posted uh let's see so let's go down here 1942 that's really small there we go 1942 by vitoko that would be amazing <laughs> i love a shooter yeah like that um smash, smash tv, TV uh, it's possible but there's there's a lot on the screen and he was already pushing with robotron and he had to make some of it play field mm. so smash tv is pretty much like i don't think I don't, I don't see him doing that because it's very very similar to robotron mm. um and it's it's like a spiritual successor to robotron okay okay i doubt he would do that it, it's just too similar um mm. did i win do i win anything if i guess right you don't <laughs> especially nathan but nobody else does either they get if they guess it right they get the pride of knowing they guessed right and the game <laughs> and they get the game they guessed which is the best prize ever because they get they, bragging rights they get bra basically <laughs> huge huge, bragging, huge rights. bragging rights yeah yeah i'll continue to guess gauntlet yeah. oh gauntlet would yeah. be so good <gasps> that'd be so so good and it's not i can see him doing gauntlet yeah because there's no the people don't overlap in gauntlet like the ghosts in gauntlet they mm. sit side by side it's kind of tile based yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's possible because yeah. he's done many, many characters on one line, especially in Zookeeper. So I can see him doing that. Yeah. And he could use triplication as well in Gauntlet. <sighs> mm. <laughs> I'm thinking Gauntlet might yeah. be a good oh, one, actually. Oh, Carl G. <sighs> good guess. Right yes. Um, I would be so, so happy. Yes. Gauntlet would be great. Yes. 
Uh, a friend of mine wrote Smash TV on the SNES. Oh, oh very Jamie cool. Rivet. That's awesome, Andrew. That's very cool. Um, so a 7800 in 7800 prototype news. Uh, Toki for the 7800 release is hopefully soon. Uh, Willard posted on Sunday, the intention is still to release the game as originally planned, hopefully soon. I appreciate everyone's patience so far, especially those involved in the release. We'll be updating this thread a few times over the next week. Um, uh, Toki is a monkey platformer, <laughs> as you can see here. Nice. There's the 78, it looks really nice. 7800 version, which Very looks colorful. really, really nice. Yeah. So that's the arcade. Nice. That's the NES version. And this is the 7800. A um, prototype was discovered oh. uh, long after the fact. Uh, it has a 1993 copyright, and I think they discovered it in... Let me just go back to this. The first page. Uh, 2015. Uh, found several years ago. So mm -hmm. let's say 2010. Mm. Um, and uh, there were some people working on an NTSC conversion and finishing the PAL version because it was discovered in PAL. Um, there's just a few things missing from it. Uh, let's see. Bugs in the game, uh, not many, just a couple bugs. Why isn't this has, hasn't been released yet? You can read all about this here. I had to look it up in the web, archive.org, to find that. Mm -hmm. um, so here's some screenshots of the 7800 version, and it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has a very narrow window, uh, but it uh, looks like a fun, uh, fun, fun platformer. Everybody, people have done boxes already for it there. Mark Oberhauser um, did the graphics. He does a lot of boxes. Not the box art, but he puts the boxes together. Um, uh, CPU Wiz uh, was working on the NTSC conversion, but I think he posted in the thread that he accidentally lost it. Oh, no! <laughs> but, uh, that, so... That's the worst. We'll see, we'll yeah. see. Never played or have even seen the arcade version. Yeah. I've I've never played Toki, but uh, uh, Nathan Strom says the Lynx version is very good, mm. which is the Atari handheld. Um, so uh, looking forward to that, and uh, doesn't really count as a homebrew, but we might take a look at it anyway, because mm. <laughs> it was never really released. Well, I suppose it's homebrew in the sense that home getting it to worked on it. Well, getting it to completion. It kind of becomes a homebrew at that point i guess but yeah. yes um so uh at, this is the second to last show uh for now not not ever mm -hmm. um before we go on a little break yes spring break i'm calling it you can, yeah you can call it spring break yeah late may spring. break or late, victoria day victoria it's, day break i guess it's not spring yet it's spring. oh no no yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah. yeah it's been spring for a while so <laughs> it's, it's almost spring. summer <laughs> um so after this is second to last the last one is yep. Champ Games reveal. Mid-season final. <laughs> yeah, mid-season final. <laughs> yeah. It's almost mid, because our, our seasons kind of stop at the awards. We always have a break oh, after I the see. awards. Yeah, that's true, that's and true. And that's kind of around where we started the show, was yeah. March, so it kind of works out. Yeah. Um, some things I'll be working on while we're away. Uh, revamping the graphics for the mm -hmm. broadcast, so just it'll look different and just make it cleaner or different anyway mm. um trying to create an intro for the show maybe uh, it'll happen maybe it won't mm. i'll have something maybe uh retooling uh the presentation of the show like the format uh, we'll talk more about that when we come back from the break mm. i don't want to say anything yet because i haven't finalized it 100 mm percent -hmm. um upgrading my video output for my xegs which doesn't really apply to the show maybe we'll play some uh 8-bit games once in a while yeah but... Upgrading my Intellivision, which maybe will play some Intellivision, because yeah. I have the Castlevania up there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and plan for making some special shows, like the Light Gun Show, yeah. which will involve like a special camera filming the TV screen. So that'll be a very special setup. And... And Vectrex, yeah, I'll and include Vectrex. the Vectrex too, because that's Vectrex. the same... Same type of... Same type of thing, because yeah. I'll be filming a CRT. Yes, yeah. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be going with for the XEGS. I haven't had time to plan that out. I know Crossbow and I have been talking about oh, I see. upgrade because he does a lot of upgrades for people. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so he's been suggesting some stuff. Oh, so cool. I just yeah. haven't had time to research it yet. That's why the break's good. Yes. Because it gives this... you some free time to not worry about yeah. coming up with the shows. Oh every... my God. The yeah. show takes up so every, much time. Every twice a week is a lot <laughs> to plan yeah. for, right? Yeah. Um,. I'm going to be working, uh, finishing the manual for the ZPH game that Leandro Camara made for us. It's very, very cute and cool, and you play as the cats or as us, and it's uh, a lot of fun. Yes. So I want to get the manual done, get it on cartridge, and nice. have some giveaways nice. for the cartridge. Nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. I'll be working more on my own game yeah. as well on the break. Uh, yeah. I was like thinking about it in bed the other night. Were you? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's how you do that. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. Uh, the break is going to be at least two weeks. Yeah. If give not or, more, give or take a probably two weeks to a month, maybe. To a month, really? Maybe. We'll okay. see how fast I can get through things. Yeah. Uh, we might be starting a second channel. <laughs> maybe. Well, that's part of the planning, too. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So don't get too excited. It'll be <laughs> for modern games. It'll be, yeah, and it'll modern be... Modern retro games, kind yeah. of. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be it'll be a side project to zero page because you don't want to take away from the content of zero it'll page. It'll have really nothing to do with zero page. Yeah, yeah. Except it'll just be us on it again. <laughs> well, it'll just be for the odd game we want to play that doesn't yes. fit with what we do on the show, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, and I'll finally be finishing recording my band's third album. Yeah. Because uh, I need to do some singing. Yeah. Uh, zero page homebrew plus. Yes. It it can't have zero page in the name, and it has. It has nothing to do with homebrew either, so <laughs> it'll have to have a completely different name. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it has nothing to do with this yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's not 8-bit games, so it, you can, there's yeah. no zero page. Yeah. Um, yes, the third P.O.B. album is coming as soon as I finish recording the uh, vocals. And a new song is being worked on for it as well. Yes. So it'll have a new song and a bunch of the old ones to be done. Yeah. Um, and plus much, much more that I need to get done. Yeah. And we have our anniversary Which, as well. And our anniversary. Well, yeah. Yeah. Coming up very soon. Yeah. 15 years since we met. Yes. Yes. So that's special. Yeah. 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 But we can't go anywhere, so. We, yeah. We'll do that well, later. We'll go somewhere later. Yeah. 15 years since we met, married 13 years. So the 15 yeah. year marriage one will have to be the big trip. Be Hopefully more. in two more years. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Unless another <laughs> pandemic hits the earth. <laughs> Yeah, shh, don't, Which, don't jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the last thing anyone needs. Yeah, yeah, we don't need. <laughs> what instrument does Tiny... No, I do not play anything in the band. Will two weeks be enough for all this? <laughs> You'll be surprised how much time this show takes up in my schedule. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, and I'll be working on movies as well, because that's my real job. Is well, doing move, is working but on I movies. think the two weeks gives you gives you time to even if everything isn't done to start a lot of yeah. these things or, I'll be like or make some headway on it. Recording though. like a song a day, which yeah. is not out of the question. And I'm taking some time off work too, yes. so so that's kind of nice. It's, yeah. it's I need a vacation. What instrument does Tanya play in the band? No. Well, if you did play an instrument, it would be flute, right? <laughs> I played the flute in high school. <laughs> what is your most proficient I, instrument? Well, my voice, I sung. Well, I besides sang. voice. Yeah, I know my flute. Okay. The, the, yeah. the flute would be yeah. it. But I mean, not that I consider myself very talented and a talented flautist. But, um. Ooh, I am close to 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Ooh, it's 935 or oh something. Oh my gosh, that's and awesome. And we have 792 followers on Twitch. That's so crazy. Very close to big. Yeah. Big numbers. And you'll lose half of them when you go away for a month. <laughs> I hope That's they don't, always what happens. They just hope they don't get Not mad. all of them, but they're, uh, you, you yeah. do tend to, to drop if you take a break. It's kind you of funny how would, that happens. Like, but, do people yeah. seek out and go, oh, all these people on my list, I'm going to unfollow them. Yeah. They wouldn't be getting notifications to bother them. So you'd think yeah. they, would, they would just leave it alone. I will say, though, you may not have a scheduled show, but there's nothing stopping us from just jumping on and playing a game during oh the break. nothing at all so yeah. we could just if someone releases a really cool game we could just jump in randomly one -off, and just yeah. do a one-off oh, but yeah. it won't be a structured show right no. so yeah uh nothing well, stopping that so oh congratulations crossbow uh, on his youtube channel oh good job yep he uh does a lot <laughs> of awesome. instructional stuff i know we've watched channel. a few of yeah. them i think yeah, yeah, yeah they're really great so yeah. check out crossbow's channel yeah uh it is uh oh you'll have to type the name of it uh nope yeah, slips get, my mind. Crossbow can type the name of uh, this. What kind of game are you developing? <laughs> it is a port of 
a Commodore 64 game. And I've re- I've told that information before. Okay, okay Beyond that, I'm not going to say. Yeah, because he's still working on it. Still not enough view hours to monetize. I think I have enough view hours, but I don't have enough viewers. Like, I don't have the 1,000. As soon as I hit yeah. the 1,000, I can monetize that. Who It'll be pennies, probably, but... Um, so let's get into the games right now. So the first game, it's not a game. Mm. There's no real interaction. There is interaction, but it's not, you can't play it. It's, it's, uh, Marco Johanna's new game engine. Uh, this is an exclusive premiere of Mm. this, uh, by Marco J in the forums. So he reached out to me, uh, about a week or so ago, um, because he is the guy who did Pit Cat. Uh, oh, which yeah. is uh, a wonderful so good. puzzle game. So good. And we've played it on the show a number of oh, times. Yeah. Um, you have to have 1,000 and 4,000 view hours over the last 365 days. Mm. Oh, yeah, have lots of view hours. The shows well, are so Well, because your show long. are so long. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah it's long. true. Yeah. yeah, that's not a problem, yeah. luckily. Um, so uh, this build is from today. It's a 64K 3E plus um engine mm. um i i'll just show it it's it's absolutely amazing uh let's get this going i have to use it through the plus cart because the uh harmony cart does not support three three e plus what is that again uh three e plus um bank switching yet mm. um so let me show you that right here mm. Ready. Ready. So here you go. So, uh, oh, I switch back to that. So if you could go to my ROMs and then go to slow scroll first. I've got a printout of what this is all about. And adjust the volume because there is some music to it. Ooh, don't want to blast your ears. It's going to come up. I'll keep it at a low volume. Yeah, you do have a black screen. No, no, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. You do have a black screen. Uh oh. Oh, what? <laughs> this better work. I did extensive testing beforehand. Oh, you joking. Are you joking? Oh, Oh, it's not coming up. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some dangerous things. Uh, No, it doesn't matter. No, I mean to us. Oh, maybe. to us? Yeah, because there's not much to see at the oh, moment. True. <laughs> I can I can uh, torture they, a cat in the meantime. What or... they can do is watch me unplug things. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. There you go. Oh, I have to have it up on the screen so I know what it's doing. Not the second screen. Oh. Okay, if we crash, good luck. Oh, yeah, it's crashing. It's going to be bad news. Uh-oh. music's there what is happening with the camera can people still hear us oh yeah, yeah, yeah. still broadcasting. oh spaghettis <laughs> spaghettis is it crashing or people can still hear us oh no we can hear okay yeah see the camera's going there. Oh, oh there it is there it is oh my goodness oh my oh, goodness oh boy okay cat right. cam works lost host cam <laughs> <laughs> Now it's flashing up again. Yep, turn off the camera and turn it back on. Ugh. Don't reposition the camera. Okay. Just quickly. Yep, just popping it on, not super quick. Ah. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I have a fix for this. It's not pretty. It's one of the things I'll be fixing on the break. This is not acceptable. Did you turn it on? Yep. I just, okay. I just gave it a few seconds. I didn't want it to. Okay. 
<laughs> I can see Jay's feet. Great shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Great shoes. His yeah, fluffy slippers. slippers. <laughs> I should be not wearing these because it's so hot now. There we go. Okay, we're back in business. If you can pick up the controller. <laughs> All right, cat. Okay, so. Uh, new tile tile kernel. Oh. Uh, this engine uses these ingredients. Thir oh. oh, thank you, Ricardo Pim, for resubscribing. Um, this engine uses these ingredients. 30 hertz flicker, self-modified encode in 6K of RAM, the th uh, 3E plus bank switching scheme, new size, mode 4, and modified PitCat kernel. There is no coprocessor. So this is not using an ARM coprocessor at no. all. It does remind me of the PitCat graphics a fair amount. Yeah. Like same same person. Same style of the of lines. Drawing. The, yeah. yeah, of drawing, yeah. It has uh, 16 horizontal and 12 vertical 8x8 tiles in picture mode and 14 horizontal and 9 vertical 8x8 tiles in scrolling mode. So what you're seeing here isn't even the biggest. So stop moving. There, two more watt, two more width. Oh, look at that. So if you're not moving, you can use the tile mode all the way out. Uh... This, is hiding, this is hiding the uh, movement. So you can see the, because it flashes on. Yeah. It's kind of like how NES does it. So if you hide that. Oh, it's much smoother. Yes, you're hiding gotcha. the movement. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, even animation. Look at the fire. I know. Look at the windmill. Even he's got a fast moving water um well you've got the water under the frame now. <laughs> yeah. Um the water in the middle is doing color cycling. Oh. I mean it's way too fast right yeah. now. But but it shows a demonstration. Um This is brilliant. The tiles are eight by eight pixels with each horizontal slice being one of hundred and twenty eight colors. Wow. So you can use full color in every horizontal eight piece nice so all the way down the screen any color you want uh horizontal scrolling is implemented vertical under development he's already got vertical he's got vertical under. i don't know if he's going to have perfectly scrolling vertical i'm guessing that he, that's what he's going for because right now he has perfectly scrolling horizontal movement per pixel wow um it actually moves faster than that we're going to go for the fast scrolling okay. one okay reload the next one Catboy is there with a hat. <laughs> ah. Very nice. Ready. Uh, up to 96 unique tiles in RAM mode. Up to 192. <laughs> ah, crap. Restart it. <laughs> Went down twice. My bad, my bad. You have one job. <laughs> I know. And I failed. 192 unique tiles in ROM mode. Each tile can be animated with graphics and color change for every frame. Wow. Independent control of animation is divided into three banks of 32 slash 64 tiles. There is a virtual double buffer. This allows the screen to display while the self-modifying code updates the screen in the background. So there's the screen you see, and then there's the next frame which is being built in RAM. And then it swaps out, builds the next one, swaps out, builds mm. the next one. This is fast scrolling. Yeah, so if you want a faster game, it can scroll quite fast. Wow, that's really cool. The screen can update in approximately nine frames. Mm. Um, history. After PitCat's gapless kernel was developed, it was of interest to gain a more horizontal tiles for an RPG game. It was understood that the limit of eight tiles in a Venetian blinds engine given non-hardware accelerated design as discovered with PitCat. Uh, since 30 hertz flicker is an acceptable solution for multiplex displays, this was investigated. It was found that new size mode 4 worked with a PitCat style kernel. This mode allowed sprites to be separated by a large gap. The gap allows drawing of tiles in two clusters of two on each scan line, instead of one cluster uh, of four as per PitCat. And you see the, um, when you're going horizontal, it kind of swaps, goes doot, 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 yep. doot, doot. He's working on getting rid of that. He knows oh, how really? to. He knows how to do that. Wow. So it'll be perfect scrolling across because things are jumping by a frame. Yes, I you can see, see that. it best in the house roof. 
goes. Doo, 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 yep. doo, doo. He's important. gonna he's gonna get rid of that. Wow. James need a pool cue with a plastic fingertip yeah. to reach. <laughs> click click click. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, the extra breathing space separating the graphics allowed more time for the X to execute code without worrying about updated graphics or colors rapidly, and it allowed for full color tile to be used instead of monocolor block as per pit cap. With fl Flickr, this separates the screen into four sections with four tiles each. A lot of RAM was needed to support this scheme. Minimum 3K, 6K needed for double buffering. Initially, the idea was to expand the E7 bank switching scheme to support more RAM for this kernel. Some coding in Stella was attempted with some okay results. The development for hardware to support the scheme was going to take a while and was a barrier to progress. During this time, the 3E plus bank switch scheme developed by Thomas Yench and Andrew Davey was researched and trialed. This scheme allows flexible banking of ROM and RAM across four banks. Each bank can read and write to each other similar to the E7 scheme. The flexible banking is an important requirement for self-modifying code to execute efficiently. This 3E plus, 3 plus scheme has hardware support on the Plus cart, and I think the Uno cart, because they share the same hardware. Mm. It was decided that the 3E plus scheme would be much easier to run with. It has performed well. It's gorgeous. It's so nice. And it also kind of has an interlacing look like a CRT yes, interlaced look. Yes, a little look. bit, yeah. And kind of alternated. Mm. And this is a wraparound world, mm. obviously. Future development. Vertical tile scrolling is under development. This will allow scrolling both horizontal and vertical directions. So it looks like he's going to have smooth vertical scrolling as well, which is going to be mm. unbelievable. Amazing. There is a noticeable unwanted tile movement when the screen updates. This should be possible to remove with an inverse Venetian blinds kernel. So what he's going to take is his, his drawing kernel and flip it so that every time it goes to that kind of back and forth staggered, it's just going to flip to the alternate kernel mm -hmm. so that it won't be flipping back and forth. Gotcha. Um, which other games use to deinterlace the pattern. An underlying game engine that could support scripts, graphics, maps, etc. is the next step to developing the engine into a game engine. Mm -hmm. It would most likely require a runtime decompression. Um, shout out to Thomas Yench and Andrew Davey. Mm -hmm. for, thanks for developing the 3E plus scheme. It is incredible. Sorry for clogging up the Stella ticketing system with my messy brainstorming. So this, this is huge. This is huge for RPGs. Mm -hmm. Like, just look at the beautiful. beautiful full color graphics. Yes. Every tile has eight pixels high of independent colors. Yes. Like normal Atari graphics, but it's full screen. Full screen. And if you it's, wanted, it's... if you wanted like non scrolling, non per pixel scrolling, yeah. you can have it even wider. Yeah. Like a, a square block. That is huge. That is a huge area. Yeah. Massive, massive area. Yep, that's beautiful. Andrew Davies says, happy to see somebody fi using it, finally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 3E plus, so Al Nefer, the uh, one of the developers on the Plus card is here as well. 3E plus supports plus ROM, so online RPG would be possible. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, multiplayer <laughs> so online exciting. RPG. That is so Somebody's crazy. gotta make that craziness happen. Yes. Oh, that'd be amazing. That would be so cool, yeah. Yeah, because you know, with his helicopter game, uh, he's he's proven that you can download things real time in a game. I think you need Animal Crossing Atari version. <laughs> yeah, this looks like Animal Crossing well, already. Well, then you can you can I don't I don't know how you would do that, but anyway, you could you Easily. could create a world, and then another person could go to that world and connect to you and go to that world. Oh, that'd be a That'd be a much easier implementation. So it's only one person at a time, or can you have multiple people on your well, island? Well, in in Animal Crossing, yes. But I think it would be very cool to have mm. to have little little worlds you could you could go to. But anyway. oh yeah, that'd be great. Marco has also uh, showed me an earlier build of this where he had text scrolling along the bottom of the screen. Oh really? Perfectly smooth. Wow! 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 Because you see his um, his engine. Oh, very smoothly scrolls right left and right yeah. so you can have one line or two lines of text and have that take up the bottom of the screen so you can have 
information on yeah. the bottom or people talking back and forth or actions things yes like, that. like yes oh my gosh yeah minecraft 2600 yeah well. or i could see actual D D games with the online part being a den dungeon master that is modifying the dungeon for the players oh yeah like this opens up so cool <laughs> the world for so much Beautiful, but it's just so beautiful i mean too. tenalt like, has done this already as well in yeah. in in that game um but this this has i think I don't know what the differences are between them, but this yeah. has, um, I think, more color or more color capabilities. It's definitely bigger, mm. the screen. Um, it's very, very interesting. I'd like to see the comparison between the two. Plus, Carp beckons. Oh, yeah. Diablo 2600 <laughs> edition. Everyone's like, ooh, all ooh, these things ooh. you can do. But that's that's what you need. Like somebody needs to figure out these little things. It's like mm. you build on, you you progressively build on things. Like if. Andrew Davey and Thomas Yenge didn't make this bank switching scheme yeah. with this tons of RAM. He wouldn't have been able to make this game, like to prepare that uh, double buffering screen mm. so that it can go. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, and you can have full screen animation. Like every single thing on there, you could have it animated. Unbelievable. Anyway, so I had to show this. This is it just is very cool. Such. An important progression in terms of making uh, tile-based RPG games or tile-based anything, because mm. um, I know he's working on another another game, um, and it and it uses similar type things. Mm. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Just just the look of it is gorgeous, and he and the fact that he's able to do it at 30 hertz flicker. Mm. is is amazing because 30 hertz is very very acceptable mm. um so there we go uh very fun love it love what people are able to do yes um and today we're going to be using four different methods of getting games on the screen uh, so that's a plus card we're also going to be using harmony okay we're also going to be using the 7800 we're using everything then and also stella <laughs> Oh, excellent. Just everything. A little Multi bit of everything today. Multimedia. Nice. Um, next, we're going to... Uh, yeah, great game engine. Yes. No gaps. No gaps whatsoever between tiles. Nope. It's right up against each other. It's really cool. I mean, they're Venetian blinds. They're staggered. Mm. So it's like this. It's like this, this, this. So they're not together like that. Each block of eight is staggered. because mm. That's the way you have to do it. Um, so we're going to go to the next, uh, game, 7,800 game, mm. Iron Grip, Destroyer of Worlds. It's quite the title. Mm. It's by Steve Fulton. Um, so this was first posted yesterday and this build is from today. So let's hold that up. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm having trouble with my USB port on my computer. It keeps... Like failing almost or it's really? not it's not able to support everything that i plug into it oh, that's weird um yeah so i'm gonna have to like string multiple uh things up or something i'm not sure what i'm gonna have to do but i'll figure it out mm. um so this is a very early work in progress but it's okay. got a lot i already going like for it i already like the font yeah it's great uh, slightly like metal on a block of, of of rock yeah or yeah. or like um italicized uh, what i want to say a pedestal yes or, or like a an award you know that's awesome yes great title yeah method. it is yeah. um so this Already is 128 uh, k game okay um other games that he's made um xmas santa versus the nightmares into the void iron grip destroy of worlds number crusher and last stand halloween Mm. Hello, Thank S. Ramirez. For resubscribing, <laughs> S. Ramirez. 24 months. I can't believe those numbers. Yes, Vitoka will blame the USB port. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, it is definitely the source of really? my problems. It's the USB like port. It just fails. Which of your problems, though? <laughs> one of um, them. One of them, yeah. <laughs> um, the, the failing of um, the information from, like, the... Uh, the games oh, getting to I my computer. Oh, I see. I see. I because see. Because I see. right now I have it plugged into another USB port. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. USB three. Because it is pushing a lot of data. It is. Yeah. Because so I've got the cat cam, the webcam, and the game uh, capture going through one USB three really? port. 
Is there are but there any alternatives to USB? Like, can you use uh, like FireWire? Is that a thing still? Or? It's all data, and it's yeah. about how much data you have on the bus. So I think I'm just putting too much together. Okay. And that's what was happening in some of our broadcasts uh, when we have video of people coming in. Oh, That's I what was see. happening then, and also during a, um, the award show, okay. we were also having problems. Does it come through the Frame Meister then, or what no. is it going through? Um, so the camera goes into a, a video capture device. Okay. The Frame Meister goes into a video capture oh, device. Oh, the video capture device. Then. And both those video capture devices yeah. are a 1080 P60. Okay. Which is a lot. Yeah. And also the webcam. And they all feed into one port. One port? Yeah, and I think it's just too much. One port? Yeah. So right now I've got to divide it into two ports. Okay, I was going to say, one port, that sounds crazy. So I think that's my solution, is just yeah. run a separate <laughs> cable to each port. And then I won't have yeah. these problems. Yeah. Splendid Nut says, James needs a new computer. Uh, Not yet. But also, things are very expensive for buying new computers yeah, right now. They're insane. I have insane. to wait, wait till chip availability comes back up yeah because i want to get a new video card and everything else. more more functionality yeah. anyway press a button let's get into this oh actually don't press a button uh we'll show you what this is a port port of because ah. this is a port this true is a... retro gamer on the quest to now get a jaguar but won't get a new pc <laughs> <laughs> priorities <laughs> jaguar first pc later Anybody can get a PC. They're just in stores. Jaguar, you have to hunt a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, order it online, go on eBay. It's way more fun. Things like that. Way more fun to... to... It is. Um, so this is what this is from. It is very interesting where he got this from. It is from a Hot Wheels game. Hmm. I'll keep the music low. Actually, there is no music on this. Okay. Oh, cool. So It's uh, like a pipe game. Yeah, this is kind of cutting it off, but uh, you guys can see it. So it's a pipe game, but you take your cars across the screen. Gotcha. By connecting up the pipes. And the further you go, the more points you get. You can gather things on the way uh, for bonuses. Mm. Um, so there you go. So as soon as you connect it, the car goes across. Gotcha. Is so. it time-based? Yeah, it's time-based. So this one does have a time... Does it reset? Oh, it's total. Time total. Okay. You guys can kind of see the time in the corner. Neat. And there's scores. Cars to the finish line. Five times six. Not sure what that means. Realm one. See if that goes up. Five. Six times six. Oh, you clear it. Okay. So there is that. So let's go over to his game right now. It's kind of funny. It's making a port of a Hot Wheels game. But it's a fun game. Looks like a fun game. Okay, press the start. Um, so here is the game. Okay. And he's got it kind of squished to the left. But Now we've been playing a game. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Called... Rather obsessively. Un, unrailed? Derailed. And, no, it's unrailed. It's not derailed. Oh, sorry, you're right. Unrailed. It's probably another game called derailed, and they yeah. went, uh, what can we call it? Unrailed. And just reminds me a bit of that, because you have to lay train tracks um, to get your train from one station to the next. Mm -hmm. It's super fun. We're addicted to it. Oh, yeah. We've been playing <laughs> it a lot. Like yeah. a ridiculous amount yeah, I saw a video on it online, and I'm like, yeah, we're buying that. Yeah, so okay. much fun. Unreal. So, uh, this is my fourth homebrew currently in development, but it was actually the first 7800 homebrew that I started. And I'm returning to it now that I have a little experience. This game will be a combination of Rocket Mania and Plants vs. Zombies as you launch ships to combat the Iron Grip, an alien force bent on destroying the universe. It started as a demake of some object-oriented action script three code from 2005 for uh, for I wrote this game, uh, Hot Wheels track. Uh, this is just getting started again. I hope to have a playable non-buggy demo soon. So, Steve, did you actually make that Hot Wheels game? It kind of started as a demake. I wrote. 
It sounds like he wrote it. Mm. Did you write that Hot Wheels? Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, I have a Jag, but I don't give it the same love as I do my Genesis and 7800, especially the 7800 lately. Yeah. Hey, the Major Havoc. Last Strike does look really good, though. The, the, I'm very tempted to get it. The Last Strike looks so good. Can't wait to play that. So the instructions are, use the arrow keys to move the selector. Mm. Or, you know, your joystick. <laughs> Press the fire to turn the pieces. Blue pieces mean they're connected to the left side. Uh, make the blue track all the way to the right side to launch the ship. There are too many bugs to name, but this gets the idea across. Neat. Uh, when I posted this, when I, when I posted that we were going to be playing it uh, today, yeah. you said, cool, be gentle. I know there's not much uh, to play yet. Even with what there is, it's buggy. It seems to be working it fine. It seems to be working fine, but there's not a lot happening. Like, no. there's nothing to pick up along the way. It You're has just the basic functionality. Things across. There's no time yet or anything like that, no. so there's no kind of goal. But it's it works. It's yep. very, uh, very cool. Uh, I've been having a, com a complete bro programmer's block since my sister passed away in April. Oh, that's, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's very yeah. terrible to hear. Uh, I figured the best way to combat it was to post this progress up and make it real, so to have to keep working on it. Um, then he posted, here's an updated binary with a couple bugs fixed. The ships now return to their starting position after launch. Mm -hmm. I also forgot to mention the concept here is the longer the path you create, the more power your ship will have. This is subtle, but the ships will change shape as they travel on their path. So you can mm. see it morphing into a bigger ship. So try and make a really, really long one. A really long one? Yeah, as long as you well, can. Well, that's I'll, I'll do, I'll make a, a long that's one after this. Long. Um, and uh, he said, P.S. Programmer's block has been broken. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what, I think all the stuff at the bottom is uh, diagnostics for himself. No, no that's not going to work. There you go. Oh. How long do you want me to make it? As long as possible. Oh, really? Really long. Oh, okay. My turn. All right, glad. There's no time or anything. So <laughs> no, not yet. Just keep playing. Very cool. Uh oh, there we go. Right hand joystick. That's right. Ah. So, what I do is I kind of start it going, then I switch it away, because then I don't accidentally. Oh yeah, that's well, true. Well, that's no good. You're taking your time. Uh, yeah, it's kind of blocked up there. So let's no, that's no good. <laughs> Let's turn it that way and that way. Oh, okay. yeah, I can go that way and go that way and that way. Um, yep, yep, flip it up. Ooh, I can. Then there, then there. Uh, that's yeah, not sure, bad. Sure, sure. That's pretty good. I was, maybe I can do more. I think I can do more. Nope. No. <laughs> no, I'll go for that one. Yeah. Go, go, go. And he transforms. Bigger. 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 Mm. More power. Mm. More. One more. Oh, no. I maxed him out and he disappeared. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have... It probably went into a memory space where it's zeros. Oh, funny. And it, and it, it like incremented the ship counter. To make it bigger, bigger, bigger. And then it read, was like, can't get any bigger than that. To read the next, you know, graphics. Yeah. And there's no graphics there. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. yeah. That's funny. Um, so there you go. You can try and make a oh, long, long one. Okay. Um, so yeah, really, really fun. Uh, start. Um, I don't know how much he wants to follow the original game, whether he wants to make like, um, an exact port of it, but I think it would be a good challenge to one by one eliminate the ships on the left. So you're kind of forced to get each ship across to fight, right? That's your goal, is to get them all to fight the wave of bad guys on that you're sending them off to. That'd be really cool if you could go under. You see oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's that this type of game. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Um, obviously, I think he's... Oh, Left it that's big. a pretty big one. Yep. If he's doing a port, he's probably going to add in the multipliers. 
like you'd make one piece and have a little 2x or something in it or um, automatic ship upgrade or something like that oh that's pretty long oh no dead end you have to switch it off mm. that one yeah oh you should change the piece at the beginning so you don't accidentally um no i don't care I don't okay care. yeah uh, nope uh nope. the one to the right switch that one nope oh, okay so i'm being a backseat driver yes you are <laughs> oh no Pretty I like cool. it. It is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, he needs to add the time limit in for sure, because then there's like, well, I could make it really long, but do I have time enough to get all my ships across before the time runs out? So in the other game, it had an absolute timer, not a per ship timer. Oh yeah. Uh, that's the end. Bigger. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna max it out? No. No, I'm not trying to max, max it, it out. out. I'm just trying to get him. Big. I maxed it out. That's your goal. Max it out. <laughs> Maybe these tubes could be plasma filaments, like in a stellar corona. Oh boy, lost me there. Plasma filaments. You talking like something? Like obviously, you're talking about uh, those things that come off the sun, right? Stellar coronas, plasma filaments. That's that's pretty interesting. So these ships can fly fly through that. I don't know about that. That's pretty mm. big goal. Like the close-up pictures of the sun. That would be cool. Uh, you could change the colors so it would be like that. Oh. Whoa! What happened there? Well, that's a bug, obviously. Yeah. Because you didn't change it. To flip to him. No, he kind of started even though there was nothing there. And now it's frozen. Oh, there We're we go. Back. We're back. That's why I kind of change it so that it doesn't start yet. Oh, see, so you have to change it so I you don't know, accidentally do that's it. That's not the point. You're trying to beat beat my score. <sighs> too bad that was a nice long one, too. Yeah, it was a nice long one. Oh yeah, there you go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, oh. Nope. Hmm. Not super long. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we're getting bigger. One more big one. One more. Oh no, there's one Ooh, beyond. Oh, very close. One, one beyond one that. One beyond that. Actually, that's really smart, starting at the top or bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to have to... No. No. You're going to have to go up on uh, that one. Or start from the top. back to another ship wonder what would happen mm. actually it shouldn't start it off it should detect whether you've got one side that's fine <laughs> yeah, that's not long enough needs music yeah 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 the ship sprites are good they're very they're really good. really nice yeah. i like the progression my turn no one more one more <laughs> i want to try and do a max out the graphics again <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's what it's doing that's what makes sense that it's oh there you go yes yes nice oh yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh no yeah. we can't go under it's a shame yeah you could, <laughs> you could stop it there it might be long enough here yep yeah. Might be. That's pretty long. Go, ship, go. One more to max. One more. Oh, oh so close. Maybe, maybe, maybe you had a bug in yours. 
No, mine I was bug. long. Mine was so long. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, Turn it like at that. that side. Oh, disconnect. Oh. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Resets. Here, you want to turn? Yes, I yeah, want to try it again. Ahead. I like the ship's right. Me too. It has a very uh, enterprisey kind of look when it starts moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nope. no. Nope. Oh, no. No. There you go. Oh, that's good. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's... What? Oh, oh bug. Oh, no. That's a bug. The so bug it's definitely a bug at the top. The top corner. There are definitely a couple of bugs. Yeah. Might just be the top mm. corner. It's not... Sent... It's think... It doesn't check. Mm. It's not checking if that is valid. Oh. It's just automatically making it valid, I think. Mm. That's what... So let's try it just from the bottom then. Looks like it might be more safe. Uh, no. Let's try up. Yeah. Up and then up Ooh. and then. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. No. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty long. Let's try different. Those are all straight, though. Damn. You know, I liked it better the other way. It's no. Not. No, it was longer the, the other yeah. way. Don't know if it's going to be long enough. It's pretty long. It's pretty long. Go ship. Go ship. One more big one. No. No. Damn it. Mm. Damn it. Okay. Straight. Up. Back. Cat time. Come oh, in. He's like, I know that sound. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. There, can you hear the black oh. and white cat running downstairs? Oh, yes, too? I can. He's like, oh, oh, I know that sound. The sound of an Atari cry. Oh, is that long enough? So, oh, it's close. Oh, can I even do that? No. You can oh. maybe. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, you can make I it can, longer. I can go up. Nice. There and then. You gotta hit so the bell. So we're, we're looking at old photos of this guy, of Atari. Good kitty. And uh, we found out his original feral name. Did it? Did it go? I wasn't looking. Yeah. I think it went disappeared. Did it disappear? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You should. It just attention. disappears. It Yay! Just, yay! Good it. job. Uh, so we're looking at his adoption papers, kind yeah. of thing, and uh, we found out his original feral wild name yes that they gave him randomly yeah at, at the spca and it was philip oh little baby cat philip yeah very cute yeah <laughs> we'll <laughs> still call cat. him atari though yes okay so that was uh it spun around oh mm. okay very uh fun like that's really fun to try and make it so having the addition of the timer Mm -hmm. would be good and i think the disappearing ship so you have to like get your whole fleet across to fight something right because he's not making a perfect port those aren't cars no you know, they're not hot wheels no cars. he's he's giving it the same um yeah feel of, of yeah the, the same game. mechanics the mecha mechanics but yeah, the different story term. so yeah. i think getting whatever how many ships 10 ships across yeah and then you get to the next level and you have less time or I don't know harder pieces, or or it could build out actually. How about that? Each level you get more things you have to go across the yeah. screen because there's lots of room. There's like at least you know two or three more columns or mm -hmm. four more columns. That would be awesome. It looks really good though, and it, it does plays very well. Yeah, because pipe games are really fun. Usually they're very hard though because it just runs out of time or the. Usually they're water. The water's moving. Oh, yes. The pipe games. Yes. Yeah. And that's what the unrailed game that we're playing. Okay. Next game is Animal Dentist. And this is a two-player game. So I'm going to plug this into the second port. Unplug the Atari Vox. Goodbye, Atari Vox. Have a good sleep. Yes, kitty. Yes, kitty. Okay. 
switch up the plus cart go to the harmony cart there you go thank you and switch over to component on the frame meister so this game is uh by christoph Kluxeg and scott dayton um, it was first posted March 23rd, 2018 on Facebook. And this build is sometime from 2018. Uh, it's an 8KF8 game. Uh, Christoph Kluxeg is most known for Robo Mechanic, which is still not out. Oh. Which is amazing it's still not out because it's unbelievable game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not sure what he had left to do on it. Mm. Um, I think he had some, some levels that he had to compress data and Thomas Yench was helping him with that. Throwing to Pixel. Yeah, Pixel's not coming in here. I don't know why. No. He's like, nah, not today. No paparazzi, please. Um, so let's play the video where this comes from. Because this comes from uh, an actual physical game. So it's, it's a port of a board game. So it's not really a port. Because ports I would consider to be video game ports, ports of video games. So, this is from a kid's game. Nice, Crocodile. Called Crocodile Dentist. Nice. Uh, and here it is. I don't know if this audio is coming through. Oh, there it is. Let's rewind that. You can hear it. So you push down the teeth, and if you push down the wrong random tooth, it uh, closes on your finger. <laughs> and um, I saw somebody uh, modify that crocodile dentist game. Mm -hmm. and they put uh, nails on <laughs> the top and the bottom. Uh, on the top, actually. Right, because like, like you just physical push nails? physical nails, like <gasps> um, like hammer nails. Hammer oh my nails. gosh! So that it would cause so that you it harm? actually hurts a little bit. Oh my goodness! Ugh, ugh. Oh my god! Yeah, very weird. Um, <laughs> RC seventy. Philip sounds like a man that enjoys bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> bubble tea. <laughs> he's got a he's got a Atari with bubble tea in front of him. So. Oh, okay. modified. We had crazy games when we were kids. Yeah, who came up with these ideas? Right, like. Oh, I know. So, um, originally this was, press the button, press the button on the left. Um, this was posted on Facebook, uh, by, uh, Scott Dayton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today's date. Mike audio is choppy. Mm. Don't tell me these things. <laughs> Check, 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 check. Oh, no. Why? Stutter. I don't know what to do about that, people. Let's switch around. Why does that happen? Check, check, check. Is it good now? Check, check. One, two, one, two. Now is it time for a new computer? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Good, good, good. Oh, it's good. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. It reset itself then. Yeah, because that... Okay, hopefully. Okay. That's still bad for me. Okay. Well, everybody, well, everybody says it is, is good. Now bad. Bad. <laughs> bad again. As soon as you switch to the 2600, now it's back to stuttering. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, do that. Check, 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 check. I just restarted the video capture. Sounds good now. Bad again. Good now. Good now. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it. 80% good. Bad. Bad. Good now. <laughs> Andrew Davey. Well, he might be getting it late, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, true. Good to go. I hope so. Um, so this was first posted in 2018 mm. as a bounty. So he wanted somebody to make this game. Oh, that's funny. 
Um, game will be published by Neo Games in boxed version and cartridge only version. All original mm -hmm. artwork will be made for the game. Programmer has the freedom to design the game to their choosing. Um, and he was originally called DEAD, Dental Emergency Animal Dude. Oh, funny. You are the Dental Emergency Animal Dude, dead for short. And if you're not careful, this is how you'll end up. You work on the teeth of everything from your family dog to the ferocious zoo animals. Funny. On your turn, pick a tooth, any tooth. All of the teeth must be cleaned. Once you have selected a tooth, press the fire button. The animal does not move after you select it. You're safe. This ends your turn. Now it's the other player's turn uh, to clean a tooth. That one. So we each have a point. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I you got died. smushed. That didn't take very long. Okay. This is one of those games where I have to get up and <laughs> press reset. That's when you need the... The broomstick. Uh, bad teeth. Each level, there'll be a certain number of bad teeth. Touch a bad tooth and chomp. If the animal snaps his jaws, you get chomped and you lose a chance. Keep playing until someone loses all their chances. Um, gameplay consists of a player picking a tooth to be cleaned by selecting a tooth with the joystick and then pressing the fire button. Ugh, chomped immediately. Pfft, already. Wow. Uh, level one, eight teeth, one bad. So Reset, this, right? Yep. So I don't know how many bad teeth there are in this. It seems very high probability so far. It does. Since you're talking, are you Yep, playing? you can do it. I can play too. Oh. Um, what he originally envisioned is the... Um, like, I can go in the top too. Yeah. A cat with eight teeth. One of them is bad. A dog with ten teeth. Two are bad. And all goes all the way up to... Goes lion, gator, then Nessie. Nice. Uh, with 16 teeth and three of them are bad. It's a cool little, like, uh... Very almost... simple, but... Oh, smoosh. I mean, it's a kid's game, I would th I think. This is more like a kid's game. <laughs> Andrew Davy. Oh. What did he say? It's all fun and games. The game is... A title is a bit of a mouthful. I could really sink my teeth into this one, though. <laughs> Programmers made a good bite at this. Thank you, thank you. I'm here all show. <laughs> Oh, man, that's bad. That's uh, bad. I mean, it's random. So, I mean, you're just having fun. I love the graphics. Oh. And the animation of the teeth is so good. So let's yep. go up a level. Actually, we'll stay on this one because apparently it just gets worse <laughs> from here. Well, I was hitting like the second tooth and I was already... But uh... originally he wanted different colored teeth. A yellow tooth uh, needs to be cleaned. Yes. A, a green tooth already cleaned. A red tooth exposed bad tooth. Um, but he kept it simple with the dots. With instead. the dots, which I, it kind of works really well, yeah, I think. Because yeah, yeah. that's like cavities. That's something, yes. This is a that's, betting game. Yeah, actually, that it would be a, a good game. idea. Because it is random chance. It um, it actually doesn't limit you. Like, I can play and you can play at the same time. Which, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. It should be probably turns. Oh, we're doing really well. Six to six. Seven to seven. Oh. Or maybe you're supposed to race? I don't know if you're racing. I think it's just each person... Or can you do multiple? Ah, see? One always dies. Even, even racing doesn't make sense because it's so random. Well, can like, I do... I can do multiple. Look. If you do like... Oh, like and I, then I died. I win because I just did it faster and I didn't run into one. Right? Yeah, it should be alternating. Yeah. I like the alternating better, personally. Yeah. So this is an old note from Scott Dayton. Hopefully this will be completed by October. Animal Dentist Formerly Dead. Proof of Concept. Classic single player, pick teeth and hope not to get chomped. Speed single player, pick teeth as fast as you can to get a high score in the shortest time before you get chomped. Oh. Classic multiplayer, players take turn picking teeth. Uh, speed multiplayer, game mode where both players will be able to speed click. Indeed, uh, to collect points for cleaning. Every tooth clean increases in odds that the next one is hit bad. So you might, uh, so you'll have to white your risk. Memory modes where the map of teeth to be screened. Ah, that would be a good one. Memory one. So it shows the bad teeth. And mm. then you have to memorize which are the bad teeth. And then you play. Clean around them. See, that would be a little bit of skill being nice. introduced nice, to nice, it. Nice, 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 nice. Teeth roulette it is. It yeah. is teeth roulette. Um, 
no sound, single animal mouth. There are no new modes in this version. Just classic mm -hmm. pick the tooth until you get chomped. Gotcha. So let's see if we go up the levels. Oh, can you just press a button button to get, to, to get the bad tooth? Okay. Because it doesn't let you do anything. So there's nine levels. So let's just go five. But you can just keep hitting them. It's not, it doesn't force alternating. No, it doesn't. This doesn't seem any worse. It's about the same, I think. Um, so good start mm. to it. I think some of the things they propose would be fun, like showing the memory. It's like those three are bad. Yes. And then you have a race. You have to go yeah. to get as many as possible with avoiding the bad ones. I I, uh, I think it, it, it fulfills the spirit of the board game or 100%. that other game completely 100%. it's not a board game but sort yeah. of board game a, yeah. a mechanical board game yeah um i would I, I think it would be cute it almost needs like an interstitial of the animal whose mouth you're opening or something like if you have different yes. levels because yeah it's fine to say it's a lion it's a this but if there was something depicting you opening the mouth of the lion what you could do is have it on the game selection screen yes yes something like that would when, be cute when you change animal by pressing yeah. left, left or right yeah. it'll show the animal on the screen yeah it'd be it'd be an animal with big teeth you know like <laughs> something yeah. so that you know what animal you're picking something like that would be cute yeah just to add that little bit yeah. into it yeah we were on a tooth roll <laughs> what was the last game uh, the uh the 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 tooth protecting game we just played yeah plaque attack plaque attack yes. that's why yeah. That's why um, um, Brian Mathern sent this during the yes. game. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I've, got, I've got a tooth game. Yeah. <laughs> this Dude. isn't posted anywhere, so they've never posted this. Really? Um, I guess, I'm guessing they wanted to get it a little bit further work, along. Work on it and they didn't Or actually he wanted there. to sell it. So he probably oh, went and wait, wait till it's on cartridge. And, oh, okay, you know. yeah. Um, yeah. It'd be a cute, a really cute game. Yeah, I like um, it. I think it's very just, cute. As long as you get enough variations of different types of games in it. Yeah. Because randomness isn't quite enough. It's like, oh, I'm just picking teeth till I die. Well, I like the memorization one where maybe it flashes good. up and then you have to you have to clean around it. Yeah. Okay. So, the next one we're going to play is a zero player game. <laughs> We've got some odd games today where they're very, very unique. How do I get this back to normal? There we go. And this one's by Andrew Davey. Uh, this is called Life in Space. <laughs> the game of life in space? Uh, the different game of life. Okay. And I think most people here would know what this game is. Conway's game of life. Are you familiar with that? No. Really? Sorry. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so let me show you what this is. No, I don't know this at all. Oh, wow. no. So Conway's Game of Life has very, very simple rules. Um, each cell is represented by a dot on okay. the screen. And whether it survives or dies or one is made there is, is dependent on what is around it. Okay. So that's, that's what a simple screen would look like. Um, so the rules are any live cell with two or three live neighbors survive. Mm -hmm. Any dead cell with three live neighbors becomes a live cell. So it changes into a dot if there's uh, three neighbors nearby. And all other live cells die in the next generation. So if they're too lonely, they die. Mm. If there's too many neighbors, it's overcrowded, and, and they, they die. die. So you have to have only two and or three. And if it's dead, it's resurrected if there are three neighbors So they kind it. of multiply. They replicate. If they replicate. If there's three. You need exactly three. Yes. Cellular autonoma. Yes. Autonoma. Um, so there are some basic uh, looks. Some basic ones here. Mm. Um... There's a beehive. These are still ones that don't change. Mm. So if you look at this, this dot has two. So mm. that one stays. That dot has two neighbors. That dot has two. They all have two neighbors. Why this does one. this feel like Minecraft somehow? I don't... Not Minecraft. Why isn't this Minesweeper. All of them? <laughs> there we go. It's like logic based. <laughs> so each of these has three neighbors. Yes. Yeah, so it's good. <laughs> but is there a high score patch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, so that all survives, but, but they don't change. None of these change. Here's a loaf. <laughs> a loaf. And That's these what we have... call our cat when it's fluffed up on the ground. It's like this loaf. loaf. Yeah, a tub, a boat. So those all oh. don't change at all. Yeah. Here's ones that change, but then they change back. Mm. So you see, if you look at that dot, it has three neighbors, and then it only has one neighbor. It's three neighbors, one neighbor. Three neighbors, one neighbor. So it... It, uh, no, it has three neighbors all the time, but it can be it can exist no. in different conformations. When it's horizontal, it only has one neighbor. Why does and then it only it dies. Have, why does it only have one neighbor? This dot that I'm pointing at? Yeah. That's its only neighbor when it's horizontal. I can't stop it, but if I could stop it, it has three horizontal things. Oh. Right? At that what, Three. At that oh, point. alive and dead and alive yeah. and dead. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I get that. Yeah. A toad. I don't know why that's a toad, but it's a toad. So it, it's same same rules. Oh, Doesn't that. have three. It dies and then, but then the other cells have three, so they they spon See, spontaneously arise. This one I has get it. Four and three. Four and yeah. three. Too many, just enough. Too many, just enough. This one's a lot more complicated, so I'm not going to explain that one. Pentadecathlon. Right click pause. What does it work on SVGs? No, it doesn't. Not on this browser anyway. Um, and then there are some complex shapes. Spaceships mm. that move. So the outer they edge. They move in space because yes. dying, uh, living, living, dying, dying living, living, dying. dying. Yeah. Leaves behind dying ones and moves mm. forward. Middleweight, heavyweight spaceship. Wow. That's beautiful. It is. It's 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 absolutely amazing. It's logic that creates something living, basically. So now I'm going to show you some crazy stuff. Petri dish colony growth, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's something you can understand. Yeah, because yeah. they, they... Overpopulation is bad? Well, Underpopulation they, is bad. They suck up the nutrient media and they kill. So you've got too much, it kills what's around it. So, so here is a very crazy... I'm gonna have to turn off this music or we're gonna be <laughs> blasted on on YouTube. For... Oh, I love that. So that's the simplified cycle. Like, look at that. And that's like a generator. And it generates those. Oh, okay. Bouncing back and forth, and when they meet, it spins them off. So those are generators, so they're creating things They're creating them at by a certain meeting. rate, and then that's creating gotcha. Yep. And then they meet in the middle and kill each other. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. And from here, it gets insane. But the the, the generators yeah. are obviously created by someone who's programming the generators well, they, to be at a certain point on the screen. Yes. Yeah. Look at these. Four things come together to meet, and they make that kind of creature, and yeah. the creature flies off. Yeah, that's like so Like a cool. butterfly almost. It's just patterns. It's all patterns. It's, all it's patterns. amazing. Wow. Oh, look at that. I remember the level in Gates of Zendokan where you could shoot at the eyes that replicated in this fashion. Oh. That is beautiful. Isn't it amazing? So this concept, Yes. this is old, I'm guessing. This yes. Is, this is a mathematical... I can't remember how old it is. Let's see. Because I didn't read the top of that. It is... So I knew that about this a long time ago. Yeah. 1970. It's... Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So let's take a look at some more of these huge huge patterns here and this person has made like massive massive structures right yeah Let's well where you place things and if you know that things interact in a way that they look at that one bouncing That's around the in the I'm middle looking for. it's almost like make they patterns they create no um it's like phases in light where where they um uh, stable no they uh, they uh Oh, look at that. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, that craziness. It? They complement each other, basically. Oh. But there's there's a term, and it's just on the tip of my tongue. I have his book, A New Kind of Science. He's an egocentric kook, in my honest opinion. Yeah. Funny. Well, usually people come theorize up... this concept might be part of our physical that. reality in a more complex, multidimensional form. Um this new one look at that leaves trails behind oh, it's symbiotic but that's it's it's um 
constructively interfere. So you can get phases of light that construct constructively interfere right. or inter or um, destructively interfere with each other, where literally you have light yeah. that cancels each other out or increases its intensity Monsters. based on the wave patterns. It's just wave. Yeah, but it's theory. The wave theory is just so interesting in that sense oh, too. Oh, you're talking about interference patterns. Interference well? patterns right. of light yeah. and the wave theory of light, which is itself a little abstract, but the idea that, that waves wavelength lengths of light, if they are in phase, will interfere and become brighter or, or darker. Or disappear. Um, yeah. A lot of microscopy is based on that. But that's what this kind of reminds me of, because it's patterns interfering constructively and creating more patterns from themselves. Right. So. And this, Sorry, I don't know why that's a weird, weird thing to be thinking about. This is one that uh, Andrew Davy posted, uh, which is the craziest thing ever. This is a digital clock constructed using the game of life. That's so cool. Or the life. That's so cool. And it. Changes, I love that. That's beautiful. It changes time. And he's just fast forwarding the button the button up there you guys can't see the button but well the time is changing it must have patterns built into it for yeah. each of the f the figures right that's so... right there's little things that shoot off to change each of the digits yeah and they're they're when, getting triggered or and turned when off, that gets turned on to off. nine that is so cool when that gets to nine it'll shoot over and change it to a one on the other side and continue that's cool and it zooms in and out. That is so cool. So you can see how it changes. Oh my god. Yeah. That's insane that somebody came up with this. I don't even know how they would like draw this. Like you'd have to have clumps and place those clumps knowing that that clump does that. That's so cool. I want to see it zoom out and change it to the one. Or oh, it already did. Oh, we missed it. That's too bad. That's unbelievable. I, I that's love amazing. That stuff. Okay, so the, the more unbelievable part is yeah. that um, Andrew Davy has ported this to the twenty six hundred. Wow, Andrew Davy. <laughs> yes. So he posted yesterday. I thought I'd knock up a quick version of John Conway's life. Ah. Oh. So we have to play this in Stella. Yeah. Right now because of doesn't he hasn't got the. Um, the picture, mm -hmm. the, the, the line count, um, where it can run on a 2600 yet, um, but he is working on that. So, actually, I'll wait till that's on the screen. Mm. <laughs> uh, Stella, Start it from the beginning. Go. There we go. And get my cartridge graphics that I made for it, which are pretty nice, actually. Uh, okay, Stella, boom. Oh no, this is full screen. Right. There we go. Let's turn it down a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is actually joystick controlled. Oh, oh okay. not that joystick. I'll have to use the keyboard. Okay. Um, because it's Stella, and I, have, I don't have a joystick plugged in. But there are uh, a number of controls for this. Um, it should be able to just use up, down, left, right, and space. So use spacebar to add some more random. Oh, I may have to click on it. You probably do. Okay. So pressing the spacebar adds in. What does the up, down, left, right do? Just up, down uh, slows it down or speeds it up. We're going to switch. One second. I don't know what we're doing. Okay. Well, stop. Just stop <laughs> pressing things then. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna slow it down, so you can see it, right now. Yeah. And it's doing. It's thing. It's doing the rules. Yeah. And eventually it'll calm stuck. down a little bit. Yeah. Some things are stuck. Yeah. Some things some are things oscillating. Are interacting with each you notice other. Notice the oscillating ones, right? Yes, I love yep. that. Yeah. Um. Alive, dead, alive, dead. So if you press reset, it'll start with a random configuration. So we'll, we'll wait till it uh, stabilizes. 
I may not, actually. <laughs> it's still going. Oh, oh, there's some stabilization on the left-hand side. But those three, so the three going back and forth will continue to do that until something else interacts so, with it. Yeah, something so, else interacts with it. That's so cool. Oh, God, are you the first to add sound to life? <laughs> yes, video life. Um, isn't there a so version cool. but simplified that was released by Comavid? Hmm. Oh, stabilized. There we go. So you can speed. I've slowed it way down so you can see what it's going on. So you yeah. can speed it up by pressing up and slow it right down by pressing down. Now, if, now it's stabilized, so you might want to add some in. So slow it all. There you go. It just randomly... Just goes bleh. Yeah, gotcha. And a lot of them die instantly because they're just dots. Well, if they're, if they're by themselves with nothing around them, then death. Instant in one, death. Yeah, one cycle. Instant death. One, uh... One, um, generation. Generation. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Said I'd lo Not I thought I'd knock really. up a quick version of John Conway's life. Long press reset to start with a new a new random configuration. It shouldn't be too much work to allow you to draw a starting pattern and also allow you to load preset shapes. Uh, the frame rate is set to six at the moment. It can go six times faster. I might make that an option too, which he has. Oh, that's a, that's a sparse one that yeah. it stabilized too. He's like, get it, turn it up. Go, go. Woo. It's interesting seeing it move across the screen. Yeah. I believe this version it wraps. It's a it's a it's a It globe. does wrap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wraps top I've to bottom, that, left yeah. to right. Oh, oh, oh. Because oh, there's no. more chance of interaction. Yeah. Because if it hits the side of the screen it'll just die, right? Hi. Come up here. Color please, Andrew Davy says we okay. had it on. we had that on before. Yeah, so this is black and white and it shows just And it has stabilized. Okay. It just <laughs> shows the life yeah. the basics life yeah now we can switch to color um oops ah it's the cat blame the cat there we go now the color adds more to it in terms of Ooh, i need to see how this would react with my atari video music Ooh, that would be nice um okay where is that the colors looks very cool with color. I like it a lot. Okay, zero. Nothing alive. That's obvious. Cell, number one, a cell just born. Uh, um, so, so it does show cells Ooh, just born. Then a normal state. You can see those in normal states. Yep. Don't touch anything yet. All right, all right. Um, let's slow it way down so we can see things. So what you're seeing is it flipping back Colors. and forth right yeah um it also shows if a cell has died in this frame <laughs> he heard something outside <laughs> yeah, sorry it's distractions it's probably a bird yeah, there's, there's birds he's been <laughs> listening for... <laughs> that was a that was a funny what um he looked like a lemur there for a second <laughs> It shows normal states, cell just being bored, and a cell just died. So yeah. those two are showing a cell just born and, and a cell died. just died. Cell just born because none of them are stabilized. No. No, leave no. our cat. No. No. I'm going to have to close that. Get him, Atari. No, don't <laughs> encourage him. Because <laughs> there's birds and he's going to attack and jump over my monitors. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to knock a bunch of stuff down. <laughs> um, so it shows... Uh, Kind of four different states. Dead, stable, just being born, just died. Okay. Yeah. Can I hit again? And that's the difference between, you know, the color oh, and the I black see. and white. Oh, I and Oh, it's really slow. Yeah. And the noise dictates kind of how much activity there is almost. Stable there. Nice. Yeah. Um, so what he is proposing to do... So this is all done using Playfield, right? Very cool. Yeah. It's very, very cool. And he's planning to add more to it because it, he's only using Playfield here. So he can still use the player graphics. Mm. And uh, he said to take a look, if you haven't already, yeah, it does look much cooler with color, but it's kind of harder. It's harder to see the original game of the, the original life through the color. 
but you can kind of see them decaying and being born. So it's 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 good to have both. Ooh, there's a lot of life going on right now. Oh yeah. So I want to show you what he's kind of uh, planning on doing here. Andrew Davy, you using part of the Boulder Dash engine for this? Mm. Well, it's it's his chrono color technology uh, that he's developed. Frequency sound is number of cells plus a bit of random. Okay. Nice. Completely new nice. engine. Nice. Oh, okay. So he has been adding to his chess. And if you've taken a look at <gasps> this. Oh, why am I not focused on this? So using the mouse. Stop using the There we go. So this is similar, right? All of the chess mm -hmm. board and the chess pieces are using the play field in this. It just happens to be scrolling. Just ignore the scrolling. Mm. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But he's using also the character graphics um, to make the face up. Oh, I so see. So in the life game that he, he has, he, he still has the player graphics mm. available. So he's going to put like statistics or controls down the right-hand side. Mm. Um, so um, that would be very, very interesting. So you can see it's all just play field on the graphics there. So, so life will support. Oh yes, that's what he was going to. Uh, I was. I've got here. He's going to support zooming in and out. Oh. Just like the demonstrations that nice. I was showing. Nice. Yeah. So you can zoom in. Like, to show. Yeah. Actual detail. You can make it really, really big. Okay. Or zoom way out to see a bigger picture of things are you increasing the cells on the screen then in that case if you're zooming out or does the screen get smaller or bigger uh, it would because it wraps it would hit a hard limit it he, wraps he, maybe he can set it to wrapping or infinity oh i see right okay yeah, yeah or yeah. just de, de, just yeah. dies on the borders you could have different options it uh, is just a fun demo i am not sure I'm not if sure. I will make it bigger, scrollable, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. It's very cool the way it is, yeah. just the way it is, right like that. But so. you would be, you would have a hard limit based on how much RAM. Yeah. You'd have to be able to dedicate to it. Mm. Um, yeah, that's about it. Because mm. you have to keep track of every dot. And every dot would essentially be a bit on the screen. Mm. So if you used like the 3E plus um, architecture, um, I don't know. Actually, he's using CDFJ for the life, so I don't ma know how much RAM that is. 32K, I think you can go up to. That's a lot of RAM. So you could hold a lot, a huge play field, that's for sure. Um, mm. So, I thought that was pretty damn cool. Ah, I think it is pretty damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much... You'd think after 45 years, <laughs> the innovation would stop. Yeah. I love um, the color choices too, the pinks and the blues. Yeah. Um, with the color, it's beautiful. It, yeah, because he can pick any color he wants, really. Yeah. Um, and it's really. Yeah. Why is this it's so annoying? To try and get this. Mm. Were we go. talking about Conway's Game of Life on an earlier ZPH show? Not with me. I don't remember talking about it, but maybe you were talking about it to Darcy or Aaron. I don't know. Oh, maybe we're talking about it. I, I'm very sure we've never shown one but we might have talked about it yeah it, it must have been a while back it's been a while since i looked into all the structures yeah. for life but most of the gun glider generators are la rather large structures i was thinking very the same CGA thing colors yeah. oh yeah they are very yeah. pastel-y purple-y yeah so what do i have set here oh yes i i don't think i'd explain that the left difficulty if you set it to b mm. It uh, it's just normal. If you set it to A, it auto generates new life all the time. So he proposed this to be a screensaver. So you can just leave it running because it's constantly changing. If you're adding new things to it all the time, you can I see really every like once that. in a while it goes blip, blip. It smatters the screen with them. Yeah. There. Yeah. The, the the sound is a, quite quite a lot. <laughs> it's quite a lot going on. You get a different color scheme if you reset. Oh, really? That is cool. Mm -hmm. I like the color scheme it is. <laughs> uh, no. Seems to be like reset the whole game. 
Oh! Oh! Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh. oh, I like that. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Is it just sort of random? I'm guessing it's just random colors within a certain set. Yeah. Because you don't want to choose bla That's so black. That's nice. Wow. Oh, my God. High pitch noises sometimes. <laughs> I've seen enough cart, please. <laughs> cart, <Mary's>. please. <laughs> yeah, it would be an amazing just demo video. Your cart. next big party. You yeah. just have that up on your screen, and people will be mesmerized. They'll just be like, "What is that? What Whoa, is going man. on?" Whoa, <laughs> man! What am I looking at? I like it. I like it. It's awesome. It is awesome. I think they're set colors. Maybe not. No, I think they're random. Mm -hmm. That's. That's super cool. That is very cool. Anyway, I yeah. When he when he uh, showed me this, I, I thought it was really really awesome. And I hope he adds in being able to draw different patterns mm. because you know s certain things you could draw the ones that move across the screen, or the ones that alternate and have those, or the ones that are. He should add in all the basic ones, all the basic known patterns. Oh, I um, see. Yeah. You know, if he extends it. If. if yeah. this I mean, it's so a lot cool. of work to do all this, but. Yeah. Uh, we're just impressed, is, Andrew Davey. <laughs> we're super impressed. He, he comes up with such amazing stuff. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh, look at those crosses. Yeah. Quick, turn off the random. There we go. Oh, another cross. And it goes. Oh, it destroyed it. It's all up. <laughs> Very, very cool. Oh, it's so awesome, cool. awesome work, Andrew. Um, so we are mm -hmm. going to the last game of the day, Venture Reloaded. And uh, as soon as you played this on Atari Age Day, yeah, I was like, oh, I want to play that. Again. <laughs> I want to win this game. It's a good game. And you got pretty far. I think level. Three or four? Four? Four, four maybe? Yeah. 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 I was enjoying it. I was enjoying myself. That was yeah. fun. So let me get the graphics up for that one. There we go. Um, so this is by Omega Matrix. Uh, and the uh, artwork on it is by uh, Nathan Strum. Mm -hmm. yes, it has his signature there. Nice. I don't think I've ever nice. noticed his signature on stuff maybe he's just started adding it or or it's hidden so it's hidden, not always hidden somewhere always hidden somewhere yeah. nice awesome awesome artwork on Andrew this baby just when you think it's dying it doesn't james brown yeah yeah uh, it's back whoa! again <laughs> coming back to the stage yeah. one more song yeah beautiful artwork on oh it's black background on nice, the cartridge there. Nice, nice, nice. Hold that for a second. Yes. And we'll get out the other stuff. Now I'm going to have James Brown in my head for the rest of the show. Ooh. Thank you, Andrew Davey. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah, thank you so much, Andrew, for letting us play that one not zero player game. Because it is kind of a game, but it's also not a game. Well, it's uh program yeah it's a program yeah, interactive I mean, you, program interactive program yes hello arena foot oh welcome back to that back to that we should hopefully have it on the screen we do actually i want to show the arcade version of this first so you can compare it oh okay because uh, i've never seen the, the arcade version so mm -hmm. so Here's the arcade version of Venture. Uh, YouTube. There we go. There we go. Demo mode. Is there a Vectrex version of this game? There isn't. You I could feel like probably, there should be. You could probably make it's, <laughs> it's, it's all, mostly it's lines. lines. Yeah. I think you could make it. There's right. not too many characters. Vectrix Homebrew, here we come. Yeah, there might be. I haven't heard of one. It feels like it could be a Vectrix. Oh, look at that with the arrow in him. <laughs> Cute. <gasps> That's and awesome. And then he dissolved. slowly dissolves. Oh, I love that. I don't know why, but I, I oh. just... How, how often do you see the arrow sticking out of the wounded uh, monster? Oh, we did play Animal Dentist. That was the third? Yes, third we game. did. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't kill you? No, the other one did. 
I swear it kills you if you touch it in the 2600 version. I want to say it does. It doesn't just push you away. No. <laughs> Pushing you away is much nicer. Much less deadly. Oh, fill... He's smaller, too. The problem in the Vectrex version, if you made one, would be the filled-in um, uh, blocks. You, you could, you'd, you'd have, have to, to find a different way lines. of showing that. You'd yeah. have to do diagonal lines. Or an X in it or something. Like something. Oh, yeah, you could do a big X. A big That'd X. That'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that would show it. There we go. Nice, like sugar and spice. Great music. Okay, that's enough of that. Because uh, we want to play the game. Excellent. That is a fun... And so this was released on the 2600 and Coleco. And the Coleco had a really good version. And the 2600 had a okay version. And so this kind of corrects that mistake mm -hmm. from the 2600. Anybody know? I, I'm sure I've showed this T-shirt off before. Um, anybody know what uh, what character this is on my T-shirt? It's too small right now. It's not Wall Jump Ninja. No, it's not Wall Jump Ninja. <laughs> Jump Man, you got man. it. I've I've asked that before. Am Good. I playing or are you playing? Uh, you can play first because I have a lot to read out. All right, lots of reading. I can read. Mango's down. Someone says. Mango's Mango. Down. <laughs> Mango. See how far you can get, because you've you've had a little bit of practice at this now. Wow, sorry. Oh my goodness. Your Keep goal on. is the treasure. I know. <laughs> um, so on the back of the box it says video game cartridge for use with the Atari video computer system and Sears Video Arcade. Plays, sounds, and scores just like the arcade game. Uh, here's how to play. Winky, the heroic adventurer is off once again to claim the treasures that lay hidden in the depths of the dungeon. In each chamber lies a valuable prize protected by dangerous monsters. Equipped with only a bow and arrow, Winky, trademark, must ward off the monster to obtain the treasure. I used to play Jumpman on the C64. I played the hell out of Jumpman on the C64. I love that game. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Shoot uh, it! Terrible. Two treasures. Not a good ratio. No, not a good start, but that's okay. No. Yeah, I can't wait for somebody to make jump man on the twenty six hundred. Mm. Pe some people have gotten close. There's a couple. There's a couple that we have showed off in the show. <laughs> uh, featuring Atari Vox save key support for high scores. Oh, we don't have that plugged in. Uh, and treasure screen and many other game play enhancements. Venture Reloaded is the ultimate venture for you too. So this comes with a great uh, poster, which we'll show again. We showed it on Atari Age Day. Stop chasing me! So there's the poster, which is the front cover of the box. So you could frame that. Do with what you will. Oh, it does just push you. It didn't, oh, it didn't no, kill I didn't. You. I haven't touched it. No, you did there. I didn't. Yeah. No, sure? I didn't. No? no. Okay. Level one. Let me see if there's any instructions that I can skip to before I forget about that. Um, doesn't say anything about that. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. Oh! Wall room speed increases with levels. Oh yeah, it's uh, Arena Foot's birthday. Happy uh, birthday! This Sunday. This Sunday, he's turning fifty. <gasps> Big no, five zero. Congratulations! Oh, shit. Jump. Run he right came towards me. He did it first. He did. It's the troll room. Okay. Some. Uh, this has a sh number of enhancements over the original. Um, each room has its own name. This one is the Dragon Room. It has the zoom in and zoom out, like that, and it also has the fill in, because on the 2600 original version you had to memorize <gasps> which rooms you had done. Go down, go down, get I'm the hell out of the him. way! There oh, we go. you run away! <laughs> sometimes you run away, sometimes you shoot. 54 in a few weeks, S. Ramirez. Well, happy yep. birthday! Um, happy birthday. If I, happy birthday. If I showed you our demographics. 
the show? On YouTube. Because I don't get demographics on Twitch. Because oh, they, no. they don't ask you your birthday, I guess. But on YouTube, they know more information. Because they're, nice. they're Google. Um, it's oh, It goes from like 0 to 100 or whatever, right? And it breaks it down like groups of ages of 10. Like every 10 years. This show has two lines. <laughs> and it's like... 35 to 45 and 45 to 55. Oh, that's hilarious. And it's like, zoop, and the rest are zero. Really? Zero. That's yes. Funny. So it's hilarious. Oh. oh, no, they're coming for you anyway. Oh, you can't shoot through dead things, but you can shoot through Apparently treasures. Not. Okay. Get ready to play. How to plug it in? No. Um. Start the game. Yeah, we know how to do that. Get out of the way. Winku will begin in the treasure room. Pick up his bow and arrow and descend into the first dungeon. It's a big key at the top. Oh my lord. So you're on level three already. Oh yeah. my god. And you've got three lives. That's good. 54 in June, Vitoko. Yep. Approaching old age here, Andrew Davy says. Well, 50. Need a 50 and older patch. We'd all be getting them. Oh, can't get by that guy. I would exit. Oh, I can't. Get out. Go There's to the no top. There's no easy exit. There. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill them. I'm just trying to get out oh, of there. Oh, okay. It's hard. You have to... Oh, look at all these guys. Yeah, they're all hanging around. Oh, one entrance and exit. That one. Ah, ah no. Ah, 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 away. Ah, ah, Taking ah. big risks there. Well, you gotta. Uh, step two. Time to explore. While Winky is in the hallway, he appears as a small dog. Beware of the treacherous hall monsters. <laughs> Winky's arrows cannot hurt them. Yay! Ooh, kicking ass. Level four now. <sighs> Get that arrow. It didn't have that animation before in the Atari oh, version. I see, I see, I see. Um, step three, the chambers within. To capture treasure, move Winky into any of the one of the chambers. Oh, I always do that. It's accidental. Whoa, that's so risky. You could change directions any second and I kill know. you in like I know. half a second. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, most chambers are full of dangerous monsters. The wall room has no monsters, but has lethal electrified walls instead. Ooh. You know what? You I know what the I guy? I haven't encountered that yet. Nope. Yeah, you. The wall room. Wall. Yeah, the one, one that moves. Oh. But you haven't seen one ah. in a while. Oh my God! Exit immediately. Go. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh my, that is dangerous. I think in the version we saw in the video, he was cheating. Really? Yeah. Unless the arcade version, um, the walls don't kill you. Um, once Winky is inside the chamber, he can shoot arrows at monsters to defend himself. I remember, mid-30s. <laughs> Splendid that is in, the, in his mid-30s. Oh, wow. Oh. Majority of the chat room is over 50, it looked like. I'm almost 50. Oh. It's sad. Yeah. But uh, getting there, we'll all soon be over 50. Oh, did you die? I did. Oh. Not died. But very sad. I'm still playing, but yeah, I lost. The zoom it. effect would have broke the internet in the 80s if there was the internet. Yeah. When did the internet start up? You know, you took a course. Mid-80s? Oh, the internet? Or like the well, predecessor of predecessor, the internet? Or... Ar ARPANET oh, well, or whatever. ARPANET? ARPANET? Or what is it? That was 70s, wasn't it? No, that's even earlier. 60s? Yeah. It's really early. 60s? 60s? The internet was late 80s? Because I went on it in 91. Yeah, 80s. 80s. I was first on it in 91 at the World university. Wide Web. World Wide Web came in 90. Well, Gopher, and Four. then the World Wide Web came. Ninety three or ninety four is yeah. web page. I did take a, I did take a course. I don't remember a lot, but yeah, it's it's a lot. God, this is a black hole of remembrance about the first times going on the internet. Oh, stop it! I'm moving back to <laughs> dodge no, it. It's no penalty, so. I know. Well, no, there get is it, a penalty. Get out! Get it! Oh, the change. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Andrew Davy has to scoot. Thanks for showing life in space, guys. Bye, all. Thanks for Thanks, making it, Andrew. Andrew. Have a good day, night. I don't know what time it is in Australia. Not sure. <laughs> oh, we run out of time. I would exit. Ugh, I have to. Yep. 
Wait, James, you're almost 50? Or did you read that? Yeah, I'm almost 50. Um, 40... Seven. If you can't remember, it doesn't... It doesn't 47, matter. yeah. What age did you think I was? <laughs> <laughs> he looks young. Ah! It's my youthful appearance. I deceived all of you. It's my silly young haircut. Isn't it? <laughs> my skater haircut or whatever. Whatever kind of haircut it is. <laughs> oh, I thought you were younger than me. 41! That's what you thought I was? That's very specific. Or is that how old you are? And you thought I was younger than that. That's crazy. That's a bit much. Oh boy, you troll, better. Troll, troll, get out of the way. Get out of there quick. Oh, man. I'm 41. Oh, and you thought I was younger than 41. Wow. It's the lighting. The lighting well, that helps. is brilliant in we, here. We have, if we all had, if we all walked around the world with this lighting on us all day long, amazing. It would be. That's amazing. why people look good outside, you know, with the sun uh, uh, hiding all the crevices and cracks. <laughs> it's true. Because if you have shadowed, you can see oh, all the. No, you do really well. I no, think. No, well. Get there. Was there an option for easy, or is just you just I have? I just played. Just, I don't just think there was an it. option. Yeah. Oh, wow. Three years younger than me. Then. Yes. Well, yeah, that's true. 47 and a half, I guess. Nobody talks in halves, though. <laughs> I'm 46, but after that second, second shot today, I'm feeling older. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Started with global, I started with global networking using BitNet mid-80s. I tried to get use FidoNet with my BBS to transmit mail. I've heard of that, FidoNet. It was an early way to transfer uh, email, before email, across, um, oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to hit them, because <laughs> they're in the way. You're, you're dying here. I know. You're, you're more than halfway done the game. You yeah. can do it. You want to play, so. Well, don't die to let me play. No. Um, special hint, Winky cannot shoot arrows in the wall room. Only clever timing will allow him to capture the treasure there. If Winky stays too long in a chamber, a hall monster will come in. Oh, well, it's the hall monsters that come in. Yeah. Ah. Scary. Oh, yeah. Shoot him. Get him. It's demon room. James, almost 50. Tanya, 29 again. That's right. Damn That's right. right. <laughs> you can all announce your ages in Not the chat true. all you want. <gasps> Oof, that was close. Oh. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Quick, get out of there. I the know, hall monsters but those are coming. Guys, those guys, uh, I don't like the hall monsters. No, they're, they're like fine. octopus kind of things. Kind of Step like. five, locked out. Once you capture a treasure and leave the chamber, you can never return. But you can return to chambers where you've searched but not captured treasure. Three more levels? Ooh, I don't know yep. if I'll make it to the end. Four more levels. Or is it? No, it's, yeah, three more. It's four per. The rows of six can <laughs> throw you off. Yeah. Oh, they're fast now. Oh, they're fast. When I was a teen, people thought I was over 21. Now people think I'm in my 30s when I'm almost 50. Well, that's good. It's funny how that is. Yeah, perceived age. Perceived age is usually about your your maturity level. <laughs> that too. But, I mean, if you're only looking at somebody, but even they can dress young. Or... Well, oh. a person with... Higher level. Oh, ah! no. Now, do you have one life in reserve? I think or so. Do you, or are you dead? No, nope, one no, life one in reserve. Life. I was getting carded for alcohol at 35. So was I up until very <laughs> yes. recently. Yeah. Then I lost oh. a bit of weight and now, no. Oh. <laughs> life happens. Deeper into the dungeon. When you've grabbed the treasure from every That's chamber, that is. Winky descends into a new dungeon. The action gets even harder. Oh, I would exit. Oh, Taking too long. Yeah, that's true. Uh, keep playing until you collect all the treasure or run out of Winkies. <laughs> oh, you missed an opportunity to shoot. No. Oh, you my can God. Only, you can only shoot. Oh, my there. gosh. Taking too long. Oh, I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> These guys are, they're, they move a hell of a lot faster now. Yeah, it's a pain in the arm that is massive worse this time. Didn't help that the pharmacist and the administrator was just old enough to drink and only administered her first shot two weeks prior. 
Ooh. Is there a bonus if you take out the enemies before collecting the treasure in the rooms? I did see a bonus. I haven't got to that yet. Uh, let's see. Bonus multiplier. Uh, no. I didn't say anything about that. You just want to get out! Yeah. Uh, to play again, press the game restart. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's get fine. out of the way. Oh, it does kill you right away. Can't take too long in this room either. Ah, that's oh, what kills you no. every time! You get caught on the corner. Stuck in the walls. What did you end up? It's oh, not the age, no. kid. It's the mileage. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh. Okay. So I'm at scoring. I good. Have... Good go. Almost made it to level... What did you make it to? Uh... Well, what, what, where I was in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was level on level seven. seven. Start again. Eight, nine. So there are nine levels. Big score. You'll That's get to a pretty the end. big score. It's not too bad. I handed you. What am I doing? To read it, and I. I was going to get a drink, so oh, I'm going okay. to come back. Are safe there. You're just not safe there. The problem is you get caught on those walls, as demonstrated by Tanya's last life, and you can die there too. So let's try and keep as many lives as possible. I don't know if you get any um, extra lives. Above three? Hopefully you do. Oh, that's the Lone Ranger song. Ah! Or is it? No, oh, I'm mistaken. Level two. Okay, you ready to read now? Mm-hmm. What am I reading? It's going to throw me in the... Get it! Take it! It's going to throw me into the mix. Level two. Okay. The chamber's nope. within? Keep nope. going. It's the scoring. Scoring. I think second to last page. Ugh. Oh, the spiders change. Spider room. Should I shoot him anyway? I don't care about score. No, don't care about it. No. <laughs> when there's levels, push your way through. When there's levels in a game, get to the end. Get I don't care end. about score. It's just more dangerous. Starting over. Okay, scoring. Oh. Treasure, four hundred points and up. Monster, two hundred points and up. And up. I guess it depends on what level you're. Bonus on. multiplier. The bonus for each level starts at nine. Okay. And counts down to one. Oh my god. This guy right there. Oh. Okay. Upon level completion, the points earned on that level are multiplied by the bonus. You receive three Winkies per game and a bonus Winky at 30,000 points. <laughs> Maximum of three Winkies oh. total. Oh, so I won't get one if I don't yeah. die. Which is fine. I think they have a sp starting position, each of these. Um... They do, but they move really quickly oh, and they're very on. random, I find. Get out of there. Get, 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 get. It's nothing good for you there. Level three. <laughs> Image Beavis and Butthead. Oh. Bonus Winky. <laughs> oh. Winky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you said Winky. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Uh, Ghost Room? Genie what's, Room. What's the name of the guy who does that show? The animator. Uh, it is... King of the Hill. Uh, uh, Mike Judge. Mike Judge. Also, if you've seen... Um, what is it? Stories from the Tour Bus. Very good as well. Is also very good. It's really, animated. really enjoy that. Uh, animated and all stories about... Rock stars. Rock and... stars, funk stars, country stars. Really, really good. Really well done. And they're Mike like Judge. crazy Thank stories. You. Crazy stories. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he does more like that. Because they're sort of biographical. Yeah. Um, but all animated, so. 
I was really hoping King of the Hill returned. Um, but it never came back. They were talking about it coming back. No, but... I don't want it to come back. I, I... No, it's I done think its, probably... its course. I think he's, I think it has. Yeah. I mean, it did. But you always want more of something that was that, really that's good. That's really good. Yeah, that you really but... enjoy. And Office Space. Oh, oh Office, Office Space. Space. So good. And, and, Still uh, holds up today. Watching it today, I mean, oh yeah. yeah, some references are dated, but like. But it's a it's a picture of time. They were getting ready for Y two K. It's crazy. It was fine for its age. Right? Yeah. And also, I still um, find office what's... culture hasn't changed. Well, it has changed in the pandemic, but what's, it really hasn't changed that much. What's his other one that's really 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 good too? Office. Where it's in the future. And everybody's super dumb. Uh, oh, did he do that? Yeah, he did that. Oh my god. Which is also an awesome. Awesome film. Oh. So quotable. He Welcome to Costco. I love you. Oh. Welcome to Costco. I thought that I was uh, the, the, the... It's Mike Judge. It's Mike Judge? Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's Mike was, Judge. Um... Idiocracy, thank you. Idiocracy. It's Mike Judge, right? It is Mike Judge. Or I thought it was the guys who do South Park. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No? No, no, no. There it is. No. Same humor. Um, <laughs> ah, ah. Smoosh. See, you get caught on the edges. Ooh. You were making fun of me. You only get one extra life? At, no, every 30. Oh. Or no. Yeah, at 30,000. At 30. Yeah. Just at 30. Well, that's almost pointless. If you're really good at the game, you're not going to use lose a life before 30. So I guess you don't really need it if you... Ooh, really I, I keep reading that King of the Hill is getting a revival. All the characters oh. have aged in real time. Oh, wow. Oh, That's see, that I would like. Mm -hmm. Bobby Hill as an adult? <laughs> with kids? With his yeah, own kids? Yeah. I, I think that would work. At least it would change it up. Yeah. Oh, I think that would be great. Yeah. But they've been talking about that forever. Well, Mike Judge Did probably has other... Oh, no, well, there's didn't. some stuff at the end. Do you want me to read it all? Keep reading. You just said, you just said score. No, I said start at score. Um, there's changes from the original. Uh, the fun of discovery. This instruction booklet will provide the basic information you need to get started playing Venture Reloaded, but it is only the beginning. You'll find that this cartridge is full of special features to make Venture Reloaded exciting every time you play. Experiment with different techniques and enjoy the game. So about this release, Venture Reloaded has many improvements over the original Venture game for the Atari 2600, including treasure screen added, third dun dungeon added, original mm. had two dungeons, all 36 treasures, original had eight treasures. Oh my god. Rooms become solid filled on the dungeon screen when completed. Rooms will expand shrink on enter exit. Very cool. Yes. I know you mentioned that before. Yep. Special note, this is the only home port adventure to do this. Oh, right. Kiko cool. didn't even do that. Music is all brand new with multiple tunes. Monsters are now animated. Oh, they were just floaty monsters? I guess so. Monster. All monster graphics, all treasure graphics, and some room graphics are new. Room name, level number, bonus multiplier, score, and lives are all alternately displayed in game. Speed of gameplay improved. Original was slow. Mm. Winky will move up, down walls when entering them from an angle. Oh. Original would cause Winky to become stuck. Damn it! Screen flashes red when Winky dies. Mm -hmm. Hall monsters enter that. chambers at a random corner. Original just used the upper left, so you always knew where how to avoid oh. them. Wall room and speed increases with levels. Yes, it definitely does. Spider room special event. Gather the treasures and two white spiders appear. Mm. I wonder if you get extra points for them. Mm. Cyclops room special event. One random Cyclops will teleport teleport out of harm's way. Eventually that Cyclops will run out of teleports and can be killed. Sorry, say that again? One Cyclops can teleport out of harm's way. Oh. Just Cyclops. one. I thought all of them were, but I guess just one of them can. Oh. Um, I thought I thought I saw all of them I know, me too, but I guess not. I guess it was... Uh, Bastard, get out of here. Just seemed like that's what yeah. was happening. Mm -hmm. Numerous bug fixes from the original game, major code replacement and rewrites, and tweaks, tweaks, tweaks. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where am I going to go? Uh, credits. Venture from 1983, programmed by Joseph Beale. Venture Reloaded 2020, program programming updated and added to by Jeff Johnson, with packaging artwork by Nathan Stram, published by AtariH.com. Those are the guys that can teleport. Uh, 36 Treasure Champions. Steve Ramirez. <laughs> hmm, who is that? Never heard of him. Tim Duarte, 
Congratulations, you guys are true treasure hunters. They must have completed it before you released the game. Yes. Um. Oh, good night, Steve. <laughs> Speaking of. Yeah, and we'll see you on Friday. Oh, goddamn. He's like, ah, I've seen the whole game. Yep. Oh, come on. Uh, Stop thanks texting. to Albert Uriso, Chris2600, James Earl O'Brien, Michael Haas, Nathan Strum, Rayu, Stella Development Team, and special thanks to Fred Quimby, Kurt Howe, Manuel Pollock, uh, Robert Munchow, and Scott Dayton. And most importantly, thank you to my wife, Veronica. Aww. Uh, you are the love of my life, and I couldn't have done this without your patience, support, and understanding. Very nice. Yes. Oh, oh. Have you eclipsed me yet? I don't nope, know. not quite. Almost. I had three more you than three? this. Okay. Yeah. You're so random. Just get out. Yeah. Get it and get out. Well, they're nowhere near me, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, they're so fast on this overworld. Where I died, they're so fast. You take your life into your hands. Oh yeah. This game is packed with goodness. Agreed. It is. It's so Agreed. fun. Because it, I love games where there's like two different parts to it at least, where there it's not just the same screen over and over mm -hmm, again. Mm -hmm. Who is the author again? Um, Omega Matrix. Omega Matrix. Ah. Uh, we spoke with Omega Matrix. We did. Right? Yeah. yeah. We did. He was on uh, Atari Age Day for this release. Be uh, careful. Don't get caught. It's so easy. Ooh, good job. Yeah. Gotta watch that last one there. Good job. Yay! Oh, you beat boy. Me. Here it comes. You beat me. I died on that stupid room, that wall room. Oh, we got now... an extra one. It's every 30. Look. Oh, it is every 30. One. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be. Who's the author? Oh, okay. Yeah. thought you were asking. No, 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 from the chat. Questions oh, from the chat. Oh my god. Ah! It's too many! There we go. Ooh. Oh my god. Get, Get out, out of here. here. Get out of oh. here. Can't rest on your laurels in this game. Ah! No! I knew he was there too, because he's always there. It's just, just aimed One life. the wrong spot. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. No, don't think it I'm gets, gonna make it. <laughs> it ramps up at this at this stage for sure. Where is he gonna place me? In the middle? Ugh, why there? I know. There's such a big block to get past. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Run no. away! The Cthulhu's are after changing you. Changing me, chasing me. Do 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 do. So fast, everything's yeah. so... Ah, oh, you ran into him! No! <laughs> oh. <sighs> Playing again? One more. Okay. I just have to not die at the beginning. I died way too early. Mm. Like, stupidly early. Whoa. He came right after you. Dead. Die, die. There, we there go. you go. What? Oh, you totally like hit him. One pixel away. Yeah. Oh, run, run, run. Bad guys run, 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 run. And he's the same speed as you. Or, no, he's slightly faster. Yeah. He does catch up to you because I was in one room and he was definitely catching up to me. You can't shoot through them, but they can go through each other. Yeah. But that it's seems, which is fine that because that seems unfair to me. But you know. yeah, well, they have to have some advantage. They have no bullets. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Ah. That's so unfair. That room, you have to move immediately. Be so very stretchy. precise, very precise. Ah, ah, Yay! Oh. Level one. One out of how many? Nine. Six times six, thirty-six divided by four. Nine. It's nine. Yep. That's what I said. What? I calculated that earlier. You calculated it. I calculated it. Calculations. Do 
that so much. It's just this room because there's a spider right there. They seem to head right for you at the beginning. Mm. So it's kind of good if you turn one way and just shoot. Get out! <gasps> oh, I hate that! Shoot! There yeah. you go. That one you have to shoot right away. Yeah, there's He's always it's such there. a tight spot. It is. That's why I get scared and <laughs> exit immediately on that level. Oh, what was I going to talk about? I was going to talk about the Retro Tank 5X. Does anybody have the Retro Tank 5X? Retro Tank. Oh, that's the new Upscaler. Frame Meister. Well, it's not made by Frame Meister. No, but, but it's, a, it's equivalent. It's yeah. equivalent, yeah. Because it has RGB in and component in and S video in. And I was wondering on its ability to switch. Because um, it, because the people that I've watched that talked about it were talking about how good it is at switching video modes. Mm. Um because the frame meister is a little Pauses slow quite a bit. Yeah. to figure out the video modes and the 2600 has you know line count things which makes the frame meister go what what is the video mode you're in so it takes a little bit so i'm really really interested in the retro tank 5x to see if it can if it can handle the 2600 changing line counts uh, i will buy it because <gasps> really yeah, uh, so what they're saying is, no, but it's getting several reviews, and Crosswell says there are a few AA members that have mentioned having one. I know of a few others that have managed to order one. Okay. I know they're sold out right now. Yeah, yeah. they're back ordered, not sold out. And Dadulous, yes, it is on the Atari 2600, and it is a homebrew that oh my God. improves on the original Atari 2600 version. Oh, God. <gasps> no. Yes, it has m lots of improvements over the original mm -hmm. like tons it makes it really awesome oh oh come shoot. on oh two deaths oh 275 sold out yeah, yeah. they're making more um but i i need you to wanna, know you want to hear from someone who has Cause if, yeah. if it's just as slow at changing resolutions as the frame meister there's zero reason for me to get it Frame Meister does a very, very good job at upscaling. And if I'm not mistaken, the Frame Meister is quite expensive. To very buy. expensive. Yeah. But it's it's over. Cause it's over retro, now? The Retro Tank is so much better. It's improved it, yeah. It has a lot better options mm. and more availability. That's what happens. Yep. And it's. The You're an early adopter. Frame Meister is like <laughs> eight years old now. Oh, really? And they haven't really. They've done a couple frame um, mm. uh, firmware updates. But nothing super major that makes it like, oh my god, so much better, right? Prospa says, I'm hoping to test my Intelli RGB once the local retro shop here has theirs. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Stop it! Get out of here! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> oh, got it. Oh. Not doing... Oh, I have three lives again? Did you get uh, 30,000? What? I thought it was down to one. Did Weird. Okay, well, I'm happy about that. I don't know how I got three lives from one of all of a sudden. I will take it. Yeah. I'll I take that not too. Complain. Whoa, good shots. Yeah, very good. Uh, exit out the nearest door, because that's foolish not to. Are you going to come all the way over here? Yep. You bastard. Ugh. There's no time limit in this area. So. Thank goodness. There's too many. Too many in one one location. It's terrible. Oh. Up. <laughs> Immediately. The square rooms are these. These don't get any harder. They're just... They're just... You get caught on corners. That's always how I die. They're just stressful immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yay! It does have some, the, the Retro Tank has some things built in to clean up 
um, video as well. Um, get out of my way. Is that it? Nope, that was the first one. <laughs> Did you feel oh, like you're at the God, end? Oh, uh, God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. There's too many. I'm going to yeah. go this way. You have I'm no just going to go up. Yep. I knew it. The bastard. He went up. They're all clustered. Oh, very Well, they can stay over there then. Clustered. I'm going to go this way, and there's going to be a guy in the top left immediately. Yep. There he is. Good. Scissors. <laughs> in the two-headed room. I think they get randomly redistributed when you exit a room. Maybe. Oh, come on. Dragons? Oh, they look like griffins. They do. They look like they have They've wings, got wings right? But I guess dragons have wings. It's just it's they true. look very griffin-esque. You can only make them so big, so... They look like they should have lion's heads. That guy usually heads straight down for me and kills me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You bastard. Come oh, down. the guy's gonna come if you don't... There you go. <gasps> really? Oh! There's obviously a hitbox that's bigger than him <sighs> on that. Did this use software? Um. Oh no. <laughs> software hit detection? It must have hit used it because he didn't... His death animation does, did not touch me. Or actually, I changed look when I died, right? So that might have affected it. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, you oh, bastards! Oh, you just sneaked past him. <laughs> you do wish you could ex accelerate Linky. Like... Oh, they cluster. Am I prolonging that guy's death? Maybe. Oh my god. Get it now! Get it! Go! Run! 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 Faster! Faster! Oh! oh. oh God damn it! Ah, oh, you have one more. That you are down. Oh no, no! To zero. I might as well be. This is not good. This is not good at all. How close am I to my next thirty? These guys are terrible. Yeah, these guys get harder. They move faster and they kind of track you a little bit more. They do. They they kind of move random, but then they track you. They are like, oh, there you are. Maybe if you get too close. I think so. I do think that's a thing. Okay, you so you keep going down that side. I because almost... it's there. Oh, well, see, they went that way. That it's, it's random, it's but it's way better to go that side. Yay! Do I get a bonus? Do I get a life? <sighs> nope. I need another 12. lot. <laughs> yeah, you need a lot. Yeah. At 12. The next one. Yeah. You might get there if you're lucky. These guys move fast now. Okay. okay just Use my it. angles. So don't shoot them while they're dying. Because yeah, apparently that just, it prolonged it. Just, <gasps> they keep dying. Oh my god. He almost got you. I hate, I hate getting caught on the walls. Yeah, this one's a little tight. <sighs> oof, 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 I'm oof. going up top. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Going up top. Oof, oof, oh my god. Good job. Thank you. Um, um, oh. No, don't follow me. Don't yeah, he will. follow go, me. Go, go to the other side. Don't. Go to the other side. Yeah, it's pretty open. At least at least there's no time limit. You can just sit there if you have to. Yeah. There's no need to rush. Just don't get hit. Oh. Oh my god. And no time limit. Just just remember that. Okay, good. It's a break. Go, go, go! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh no. Uh. Oh sadness. One more. Poor Winky. So rage sad. reset. <laughs> yes. Bam. Rage oh, no. reset. I mean, it's not a long game. It's it's fairly short, so I don't feel too bad doing it over again. Mm. And it's non-stop action, so it's not boring doing it over again. It's fairly, and it's very random. It's not like oh, I have to do this, then I have to do this again. 
like on a platformer, it feels like a lot of work to do it all over again because you're seeing a lot of the same stuff. Mm. But because these guys are moving so randomly, yeah. it feels oh. very different every time you play, like a little bit. Mm. So it has a lot of replayability. Oh, for sure. I like games that have at least a little bit of an element of luck in them. Yes, this one definitely has a yeah. lot of that. Roguelikes are so much fun. Yep. Because sometimes you just get you really master. Unlucky. Get out of here. Ugh. They know where you need to go. Just loop Look around. Loop, loop through the middle. <laughs> Can go up here. No. Yeah. No. No. He's he's running away. Oh, you you missed your chance. You keep missing no, your chance. No, he's too close. He's There's not that close. Those guys move. In a second. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna go. There you go. <laughs> Not taking a chance. Such a cool I need game. My lives. I agree, Marco Johannes. It is so good. And having that mm -hmm. that wall room that breaks up the mm -hmm. the type the patterns as well. I've got a. Join the ranks of S. Ramirez. <laughs> yeah. Completing the game. I'll not be satisfied till I, oh, till I complete the game. Oh my god. Seriously? That's where you're going to place the guy? Oh, those guys. <gasps> what? <gasps> Why was I facing that direction? Uh, you had just a slight a, angle on just you. Just touched it. Ah! <laughs> you don't know where those guys are going to be when you no, come out. No, I think they're kind of randomly generated. Good job. What? Oh, it didn't quite. Because it, it has, only has a certain distance, right? It's fairly long, the yeah. distance. Oh, 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 this guy. I think if you do get close to them, they do go after you. <gasps> Damn it, I got no! stuck on the wall! <sighs> Terrible. Early death on level yeah. two. It makes it replayable because you know you can do it better. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Every time. You're like, ah, I could do it better. And I'm going to be at the bottom of the screen. Far, far away, which makes sense because you do it in order. Okay. Don't! Okay, stay away. <gasps> Clear out. Come on. Disintegrate. See, and they went that way that time. Yeah, it's random. It totally is. random. Level complete. Just level two. And I've lost a life. Only level two? Oh. Did I get an extra life? Yep. Okay, I'm fine. Good job. Then. Back to zero. <sighs> He's very happy to be going down. <laughs> Loves it. Into another dungeon. Come on. Take the shot when you can. Yeah. Even if you're not, they're not coming for you because they. Oh they could, yeah. They could come for you later. Anytime. And always shoot immediately, like as soon as you get in there. Ooh, missed it. He nope. does teleport. Oh, we teleported on cheap. you! That is a cheap death. How can you avoid that? Cheap death. They can. <laughs> they can transport anytime. Yeah, but right usually on you. they don't. But yeah, you got unlucky. That shouldn't happen. No. I think that's too cheap. <laughs> Things that can teleport cheap on you death. and kill you without cheap death. any way to avoid it is terrible. What? Apparently they can't that guy can't teleport indefinitely, so eventually Really? Yeah. That's what the, the I thought it said only one at a time can teleport. No no one. So Oh baby. In, in in the room, yes. one can teleport. At a time. No, one. Only one of them can teleport. 
and I've, I was oh, watching it. Oh, really? Yes, and so he can only teleport one. a certain number of times, and then you can shoot him. But he will dodge you for a certain number of times. Oh, gosh, you were cutting it close there. I was. <laughs> oh what? No oh, no. There we go. Oh my goodness, he's totally in your way. Get it and get out. Gotta run now, O'Brien's Lex. Excellent and fun show tonight. Yes, thank, thank you, you crossbow. crossbow. Thank you for joining. Have a good night. Yep. Yeah. Congrats on your a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Yes, congratulations. That's that a is really cool. A very good accomplishment. Very, 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 very. Awesome. It's hard to do yeah. that. It is. It can be very, very entertaining. <laughs> or knowledgeable. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever your channel's aim is. Yeah. People have to like it. A lot of people. And discover it too. Yes. Ivory Tower Collection. That's what it's called. Everybody check that out. Let's go subscribe to it. Ivory Tower. Yep. Come on. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Sometimes it's worth just getting past. Oh, come on. There, you oh, go. there we go. I did not even think that would hit. Good job. Thank you. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> there was already snakes there. There you go. Good job. Much better. Get the martini. Not sure what Winky needs a martini for, but... It's it's a hard life. It works. He needs a break once in a while. It's a lot of stress, even though he doesn't show it. He's a happy, happy guy. Happy dude. <laughs> Level whatever complete. Three? Four? Mm. I need my extra lives. Dadulous says this is a fun game to watch. I don't think I would do well playing it. It's actually not as hard as it looks. It's not. But it ramps up in the higher levels as far as the speed of the monsters. Yeah. Um, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun game. Very fun. Get the last the one. Room. Can you get him? Oh, oh man. I was wondering if there was a bonus there for getting the white spiders. Run! Just shoot right away when you go in this room. All the two-headed guys. Yep. I always thought they were eyeballs, but they they are two-headed yeah. men. They look like eyeballs, don't they? They do. They look. I. I they remind me of some sort of. Crab creature. Animated crab. <laughs> something. Mr. Crab. Mr. Crab's from SpongeBob. I was going to say from the. Yes, from it. SpongeBob. <gasps> Cornered by the. Shouldn't dragon. have gone in there. I need my extra life. Uh, uh. Tune making me remember mm -hmm. Lone Ranger. Yep. Mm -hmm. That show was on when I was a kid. Was too it? old. And it was on for everyone there. Not for you. You're no. too young. Well, I'm not Black and white much. Lone Ranger. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember watching Lone Ranger. Would it be? Probably wouldn't be something you'd watch. Maybe. No. <laughs> so even if it was on, yeah, there were still I mean, there westerns were, there on. Were game, there were old TV shows that were playing, but I don't remember the Lone. I remember, I remember shows like I Love Lucy. Yeah, some playing black and in, white in ones. syndication and some black and white films. There was a Nickelodeon show about monsters that had a guy that looked like yeah. that. His hands held up his eyeballs. Oh, I got an extra life. Good. I need to get another extra life. Get back to zero. Leave it to Beaver. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, that was on. Uh, it was on. I don't remember watching that too often, but I do remember it being on. Uh, I watched a lot of that. Watched a lot of TV. 
I watched a lot of TV too. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember too, too many super old shows. A lot of 70s shows. Yeah, I mean, it was mostly 70s. Because um, they wanted to show color repeats rather yeah. than black and white. And then like Gilligan's Island oh seemed to be God. on constantly. Oh yeah. Um, it's a silly, easy to digest show. I hated that show. Oh I was not a fan of Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Did you? I don't know why. It's just it, frustrating because they're so stupid. Yeah, I think that's what, what it so was. Just get off the island, make a boat. You yeah. can invent all this not crap, but you can't get off the island. I Yeah, Useless. it was just so silly. It was so silly. I, I was not a fan. <laughs> other shows that I, I I loved uh the Dukes of Hazard. I mean that that was around when I was a kid so That's such a silly show. I love that show. This guy's driving had, around evading cops. I had a Dukes of Hazard Eno game. Eno? What's an Eno? Uh Uno Uno sorry not Eno. Uno In, Eno was the stuff for your upset stomach. Uno oh. Uno Yeah Uno card game. It was Dukes of Hazard theme and all <laughs> all the all the cards had like characters on them oh, okay. um that's funny there was like a general lee card and i don't know it's just so funny um bits and bites atari 2600 dude my dad used to make me watch that show all the time because we had a commodore 64 and we used to watch bits and bites constantly mm. and it was a good show it was the basics of programming it was it was really uh really good i also went to um programming camp programming camp in the in the mid 80s <laughs> computer and, and gymnastics camp. well yes it was at the y <laughs> and so you would camp. get to pick two themes so you pick something <gasps> you pick something for the morning and ah! something for the afternoon so in the morning i did programming and basic on on the commodore 64 in the afternoon i did gymnastics so it was computer gymnastics camp um i just went to computer camp <laughs> With apples. <laughs> apples, I think. Apples? No, this was Commodore 64. I had a Commodore 64, so it was pretty awesome. Apple twos. Um, and, uh, yeah, I learned the basics of basic. Basics of basic? Yeah. Well, that's what you need. Way. Yeah, it was good. It was good. And I also learned too. how to do a cartwheel on the balance beam. <laughs> so wow. all of it was, yeah. That's impressive. pretty good. You learned all your computer gymnastics. My computer gymnastics. <laughs> yes. It is two separate courses. <laughs> and the demographics starting, starting, start, startingly different. S startlingly. Starting, startlingly different. That's quite a lot of. Sorry, syllables. too many else. Startlingly different. They use Commodore pets. Uh, yeah. I wish mine was a Commodore one. So I eventually got a Commodore. Oh my God. Three girls in my programming class, oh including me. Wasn't it everyone and everything? No, or, no, no, oh, no. You, no. Got to pick, you picked right. what you wanted to do morning and afternoon. Oh my God. Straight for me. And yeah, it was. There were three girls in a class of like twenty for my computer programming. And gymnastics was my only girls. <laughs> so no. We it's didn't over. get that many. Oh, so Atari Twenty Six Hundred dude is in Australia, and they got bits and bytes. Oh, that is hilarious. Funny. There was uh, I grew up in Ontario, in Ottawa, and uh, TV Ontario had all kinds of educational programming, and they're the ones who played bits and bytes. Mm. Which is, did you ever see that show? Nope. We're nope. in BC. It's and and uh, somehow we didn't get. What it. programming did they teach you at camp? Um, Basic, really right? basic stuff, you know, how to change the colors on the screen, how to, how to, um, load programs. Did you use logo? I don't remember logo. It's a little turtle. Makes 90 degree turns left, turn left 90 degrees. Yes, that, that, that Draw does. Draw 10. Yeah, yeah, that sounds, that sounds familiar. Um, I remember the, the program that I did at the end. Thanks, um, Olaf. Involved ASCII characters and making a rocket ship fly oh, at the screen. Okay. Um, else did we learn just really basic really basic things for for kids right so it's um, for kids yeah um, it was fun i wished i would be able to complete that but we'll save it for another show mm -hmm. i know i can it's just i'm making bad mistakes there's a lot of randomness in this as well mm -hmm. because every character just moves randomly so it can just go straight for you and kill you if it wanted to 
Um, so today we took a look at Marco Johanna's new game engine, which is so promising. Oh my God, the games you can make with it are going to be amazing. Yeah. I hope he opens up how, like the engine for other people to be able to use after he makes maybe his first game with yeah. it. Yeah, Animal Crossing Atari 2600. Yep, just saying, right? Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could totally do it. You know, I'm going to have to learn rocks, programming. Little trees. <laughs> yeah. It says you can make tons of tiles. Tons and tons. There's it doesn't have tiles. to be that big. You need an island. You need a couple of houses. One type of tree. And you need to be One able to plant um, uh, even fishing Roses and planting and flowers. That's all you need. Oh, basic, yeah. basic, basic stuff. Oh, Olaf Lopez. Thank you for following. Yeah. We are at 792. Might go to 793. Nice. Followers. That's awesome. So Thank you very much. So close 800. Yeah. Um, we played Iron Grip. Yeah. Destroyer of Worlds. Um, great start. Uh, puzzly game, but a light puzzle game. It's a, it's the early stages of, of the gameplay. So. Yeah. Yeah, but very cool and it works. Yes. It works. Can't wait to see all the add-ons yeah. and the bon -ups, bo how, bonuses how he, how and power-ups. How he modifies it, how he yep. builds the game world and all that. Yep. So, yeah. Animal Dentist. Uh, cute, simple, fun game i think it'd be a good kids game because mm. it has a lot of randomness and it's just you know it's not it's not high action mm. let's say it's just kind of fun um it doesn't need much to finish it off really it's got the graphics already there um so hopefully they can finish off that game uh life in space by andrew davy uh super cool yes like the visuals Beautiful. the concept behind it yeah um I mean, it's it's great as it is. It can mm -hmm. be a screensaver. You can add more things to the screen. If he wants to expand on it, that'd be great too. But it's fun as it is too. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool for him to use his kind of drawing technology that he uses for play fields uh, for full screen stuff. Another great application for that. And we just saw Venture Reloaded. It's a masterpiece. Highly recommended. If you're going to buy, if you like the look of that, you, mm -hmm. you'll definitely love it. Um, highly recommended to buy it. Um, you enjoyed it too, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, I really want to finish it. It's one of those games where it's like, I can finish it, but it ramps up right at the end where you're like, oh, so close again. <laughs> and has huge replay value yeah. too. So love it. Oh my God. Can't wait to play it again. Mm. So we have one more show before our break, before our short break. Yes. And boys, it a doozy. Oh my God. Exciting. It is the exclusive world premiere of, of John Champo's new game from Champ Games. Mm -hmm. What could it be? Hopefully Gauntlet. Hopefully a lot of other stuff. Hopefully a whole bunch of things. It's been a lot of good guesses. Yes. Um, we'll see if anybody gets it right. Yes. The guesses. We'll see. I, I hope somebody gets one of them right because uh, there's a lot of great guesses there. Mm -hmm. um, but he usually is very surprising with what he comes up with. And it's like, usually, it's like, wow, I never thought anybody could make that on a 2600. Mm -hmm. That's usually the MO of him. It's... Uh, Nobody can make that. It's impossible. <laughs> then John Champo figures out this little thing that allows him to do it on the 2600. It's usually a simple idea or an, it's an accident mm -hmm. or it's some tweak that is like, oh, now you can put a million people on the screen. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. Just like he did with the grunts for uh, um, Robotron. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah the grunts. Atari uh, uh, 2600, Dagrad, Strong Belgian Blonde Ale. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Uh, is it good? Yes. Yes. Very good. Uh, RC70 says, now I'm guessing Jumpman. What is the beer of the day? Yeah. Uh, that's what I... That's what dog watch was. it actually be Animal Crossing. Yeah. Oh, my God. That'd be <laughs> Can so you imagine? funny. That'd be hilarious. I don't think he's done an RPG-style game. He's done a lot of... He's done um, Platformers, which is Zookeeper. Mm. He's done Shooters, mm. which is Galagon. Let's get these down, actually. He's done maze games, like Pac-Man-style maze games with Ladybug. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, this is going to collapse. I'll just read them out. <laughs> <laughs> He's done um, 
shooters like mm -hmm. Scramble, Cobra Arcade, um, Galagon. He's done Mappy, which is also a platformer. Um, Wizard of War, which is also a Pac-Man-ish type of game. It's a maze game. Mm -hmm. Ladybug, maze game. Uh, Conquest of Mars, which is an action game. You're descending into a maze. Oh, yes, yes, shooting yes. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I don't cool. know what you'd call that. A shooter. Yeah. A vertical shooter. Yeah. Um, Atari 2600 dude says Sinistar. Sinistar. I f fully expect, actually, uh, Daryl Spice Jr. to make Sinistar. Oh, yeah? Based on his Draconian engine. Mm. And I think he was thinking about that to doing doing that yeah. speaking of ladybug uh do you have the ladybug ce box that matches the venture reloaded one i do actually um so we can show those side by side mm -hmm. here we go so these are oh wow coleco style um coleco release style boxes are these both nathan strum Nathan, did you do this one too? I don't see your signature on it. I don't know. So old. I, I it's, just, it's before my time. It's so. just very similar. Is it just the style is the same, or um, um, are we looking at? I mean, the same graphic design. I don't know. Did you? Nathan Strum's been doing his graphics for yeah. a long time. Yep, I did all three. Nice. What was I the like the third one. Is there another? Then? Is it red as well? Must mm, be. No. Zookeeper? No. 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 What's the third one? <laughs> Scramble? 2600 Turbo? Oh. What's the third one? No, I don't know what the third one is. Uh, 2600 Turbo? Mm. Dragon's Lair. Ugh. Nice. Well. Didn't Pac-Man Plus say he wanted to do Sinistar? Well, he would be doing a 7800 version, yeah. Mm. Nathan Strom, what's the third one? Or are you talking about the new game? Oh. Ooh. Is that a hint? Oh. <laughs> He's not answering. Something um, in a red box. Hmm. Well, that narrows it down to like it's Coleco really releases. Nice looking. Yes, turbo the prototype. Turbo prototype. Okay. Oh. Turbo. Oh, I don't have Turbo. It's just a prototype. Okay. Mm. No, I don't have that one. So I will put that away later. So if you want to big, put your guesses, you can go to the uh, Zero Page Homebrew uh, Club. And we've got mm. a thread there going with guesses. Um, so all the people who have not uh, put their guesses in there right yet, do I still have it up? Asking again. Oh, what was that? Hey, can you ask that the Atari Vox Plus dude to host your show during the break? I don't know what that means. Atari Vox Plus dude? Yeah. Who is that? Atari Vox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the voice to, to host the show? <laughs> I don't know if he's up for it. Uh, he does talk a lot. <laughs> Here, I'll post the club. Um, and you can put your guesses there and we will read them out on the next show mm -hmm. bef before it might not even be an arcade port. That's very yeah. true. Could be a computer port. Yeah. Um, might even be an original. You never know. Mm -hmm. So here is the, there you go. Oh, Arena foot posted the, he got to you. Yeah. He I'm got there guessing first. that's the third box turbo. turbo. Okay. Nice. What is that? Game? Oh, nice. Let me just uh, that. put that up for a second. Ooh. Rev your engines and get ready to test your driving seals in Turbo. It's a popular Sega arcade game. Okay, hmm. racing game. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Nice box. I like it. Yeah. Oh, nice city. Mm -hmm. Look at that oh, nice beautiful background. skyline in the background. I'll have to check that out. Because mm -hmm. that one has not been on my radar. For, uh, oh. And they're still selling it with that cartridge, too? Really? <laughs> hmm. uh, original Temper your expectations. It wasn't finished. Oh, okay. So this is like some people finished it up. The enhanced version. Uh, Thomas Yange, Dennis DeBrow, Nathan Strum. Okay. Mm -hmm. Selection menu, menu, Fred Quimby. Box, Nathan Strum. Box production, Mark Oberhauser. Okay. It, it is playable. That's your best review of it. It's playable. 
Many bugs in the original prototype squashed. Okay, well, I'll we'll check that out. Um, a good racing game is fun. It's not. It's not my top. Racing games are not up there for the ones I go for first. Mm -hmm. It's usually shooters and platformers, but uh, a good racing game is a lot of fun. Because mm -hmm. we played that. What was the other yeah. one? What was that racing game that we oh. played for a while? That one was pretty good. Um, got the box. Damn it. We've played a few. Of so many games. I can't remember them Not all. Share your reference. No, the one from Brazil. Rally Racer. Rally Racer. Yeah. yeah that was a good one. one. Yeah. Very good. Graphically, it's not finished. The road doesn't move. Oh. oh so, it has so it doesn't turn or like progress, I guess. He's going to be mad, but I want him to say. He'll purr. He'll purr madly. Well, good night. Um, yes. So, yeah, tune in next Friday for sure. <gasps> for special, special for games. For special, special game. We don't know what it is. He's very excited. Nathan Strum knows very what it excited. is. And John Champeau knows what it is. Mm -hmm. Says he's going to put a password on it again, mm -hmm. but not a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not have us jumping through hoops for 20 minutes yeah. going, ah, what was the John, new show help I do, us. What was the new show I do you were talking about at the beginning? I missed you guys playing other games. Yeah, modern modern retro games mm. not like first person shooters and stuff like that but like kind of pixely pixelated graphics types games yeah usually mm -hmm. usually but we can branch out it's just not retro games it's not on retro consoles it'd necessarily be like, yeah it'd be like on the switch or ps4 yeah. or just anything yeah i don't know yeah <laughs> just things we want to play that aren't necessarily homebrew so. yeah because we play Lots of games, lots of things, different too. games. Yeah, yeah. You can watch her play uh, Animal Crossing for five hours. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. I'll be not in the room. I'm also not that impressive <laughs> an Animal Crossing player. <laughs> I'll be in the room. I'll be out of the room. Uh, you and the cats. No, no. Yeah. Other other types of games. Hollow Knight. Hollow yeah, Knight. games like that. Or um, what what what's that other series that you really like? With oh, the Shant woman who, Shantae. The Shantae games. I've got a pile of Shantae games. Those are really great games. I do a hit too. a wall pretty quick on those. Oh yeah, they're hard. Well, after a couple hours. Yeah. I've got piles and piles of games for the Switch and PS4. That that and a that lot of them are are have a, re a retro theme to them too. Yeah, I mostly buy just retro stuff. Retro Not theme. necessarily, but mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Uh, mostly from limited run games, but not all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we'll have a different YouTube That's channel. That's what we're thinking. So completely separate. So, so I don't want it to mix it up. Because no, then people tune different. in and go, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just not homebrew. Yeah. Nothing to do with 2600. But we'll tell you where it is if we do it. If is, is still the... Oh my gosh. We probably Shit. will, but we don't know. Yeah. Uh, does the channel exist? No, it is not. Not yet. No. No. We don't know it's what the name it'll be. It's being conceptualized right now. We're just thinking about it. Yep. Yep. Usually breaks are good for that. When, yep. For thinking up new things. Yep. So you can't find the channel yet. It doesn't exist. Yeah. We'll have a different name, a new name, and and it'll be casual too. I don't think it's. Oh God, it won't be structured. We'll just no. hop on and play. Yeah, games we want to play, and because yep. we play them already, so why not stream them? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of what it comes down to. Pretty so. much, we'd probably bring the console down here, because otherwise yeah, I'd have to bring true. all the equipment that's upstairs. That's very true. Yeah, that's yeah. very true. So it'll it'll yeah. look the same. I'll have to yeah. take down that. Well, no. you can leave I'll it leave it up. Point. We'll drape something over it and <laughs> yeah. hide it. Hide it with, I don't know. Um, we might stream just on YouTube. We might do it on Twitch. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Again, it's being conceptualized. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess you don't know yet. Yeah. Probably, Still being probably out. Twitch because I've got everything set up for Twitch. It's easy to do just what you're doing now, which yep. is run it, run it through Twitch and then, um, and then port it over to YouTube if you really want yeah. to. Yeah. That's yeah. probably what we'll do. Yeah like to hear that yellow star song again i like twitch okay yeah good yeah twitch twitch works it's simple um yeah another room in the house yeah we do have other rooms in the house but everything is here so yeah we did we did uh the atari age day upstairs we did just because it gives us a lot more space to put equipment. And, yeah, there was a lot of and, equipment. And TVs and things like that. But this room is is set up for streaming. My kid's so. plush star plays the song. <gasps> wow, Ooh, that's cool. Wow. This one we bought at Portland. Yep, I'm um, sure it's There an was one of, one of the... Uh, no, uh, they were, yeah, there was just someone who had made a whole bunch of plushies. And Not this, sanctioned by Nintendo. No. Um, <laughs> Atomic plush. There you go. This is. Not by Nintendo. 
but by Studio Gib Ghibli, because both of these guys we got at the Studio Ghibli Museum in Tokyo, or a suburb, outside of Tokyo, uh, just yeah. outside of Tokyo. So in Japan, yeah. The pillow, this pillow, you can buy it if you want. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Uh, Metal Lunar 7, Atari 2600, Dude, RC70, Cafe Man 2D, Vitoko 8 Bits, uh, Atari 2600, Dude, Nathan Strum, the, uh, Arena Foot, Mike Soul, Iceposta, hello, uh, Dan ABC, Marco Johannes, thank you so much for letting us show off your new game engine. Oh, this one is all controllers. Yeah. And this one is Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all it's all squished. There yeah, I need to yeah. open this up and rejig it. Yeah. That sounds like a good project for time off. <laughs> Fixing the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> um, who else? Olaf Lopez, welcome to the show. Yeah. Um, and thank you for following. Dadulas. Yes. That's a new name. I Thanks. think I've seen a yeah. seen him before or her, but yeah. probably him. Um, S. Ramirez. Lots of people. Crossbow. <laughs> Andrew Davey, thank you so much for letting us mm -hmm. show your new zero player game. Uh, and that's the top. Unless I missed somebody. Mm -hmm. Fat Beavis. Oh, there you are. Um, fun show tonight. Yes, lots of fun stuff. So we'll be back for our last show of the season. On Friday, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. normal time. 1 a.m. Saturday morning. Because somebody posted... It's like, oh, it was it was Andrew Davey. He was like, oh my God, one a.m. and he was rushing <laughs> to get it ready because really? it says six p.m. Pacific, yeah, nine p.m. Eastern, one a.m. GMT. Yeah. So it said Tuesday, one a.m. GMT. Oh, I see. So he but was it's actually thinking, Wednesday his time. It's actually Wednesday, one a.m. GMT. And he was like, oh, quick, get this ready oh, for the show. Well, at least he was well ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, and then he had some more time to do more updates which Sometimes is great that's, that's so nice. now i have to amend it yeah like I, I put wednesday in brackets but it'll be easier to change it to like plus one day or something so i don't have mm -hmm. to change like wednesday and saturday wednesday and saturday but anyway that's for very few people uh so be here huge 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 show on friday John Shampo is going to be here. So excited. Via video. Oh, Nathan Strom, you're still here. Are you going to be here as well via video or uh, audio? You want it to be just audio. Or will you be able to make it? Or yes, no, maybe. We Let, can, he we can, can tell you offline. after. You don't have chat to ask offline. him now. <laughs> See you for the mid season final show. Yes, that's right. Yes. Mid season. And here's a bunch of ah, graphics. Ah. There we go. Cats, cats, Atari, Atari. There we go. There we Hurrah. go. Just audio. Just okay, audio. Okay, so you will be here. Awesome. awesome. Uh, we'll probably be using Zoom then because that's easier for multiple people. But we'll figure mm. that out offline. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks, everybody, for tuning yep. in this week uh, or today. And uh, we will see everybody on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good week. See you on Friday. Oh, I do. I do have an Atari age emote. There boom, you boom, go. boom. And a rage reset. Boom, boom, boom. There. Lots of emotes. Okay. <laughs> good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night.